Go reply. I got a reply from Snow. Saying what? Uh, uh, like Snow, the Korean player. <clears throat> he said, um, you, did you hear about Pro League? They've been doing Pro League, like Moonlight mm -hmm. Pro League and other Pro Leagues. Yeah. Um, where they just kind of like get all the pro players together and play for money every week. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been ha getting a lot of requests from people to cast it. And I asked him, I sent him a message asking him like, hey, can I get like paid for <laughs> a replay or can I just use it? You know what I mean? Like, oh shit, someone left. Yeah. I was asking him like, hey, can I just, can I just uh, like, you know, do it like I do um, KCM or can I do, uh, can I buy the replays off you or something? And he said, he just replied to me and said, feel free to use it. So. Nice. I can just uh, use his video, maybe put my own face up there or something. Or, <laughs> I don't know. I'll do something with it. That's cool, man. Yeah. Nice you got a reply out of him as well. Yeah, it's nice to get a reply from pro players. Suck my white ass ball. Not enough minerals. <laughs> Not enough minerals. These guys, man. My white ass ball, like he's only got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He must have lost the other one when someone took him up on his offer and actually sucked it out, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so now he's just got the one to bargain with. You think he would have learned his lesson? <laughs> Some Stop people asking never learn. people to suck him out. <laughs> Damn it, two Goliaths in a row. I don't like that. Yeah. Luckily, I'm not getting any. 
I sold one at the start, I haven't gotten a single one yet. Guys, we're just gonna play a few gear rounds of this, and then we're gonna be getting into the KCM cast. So yeah, Say and I are a bit addicted to needing to beat this. But we don't want to play it forever. We just want to beat it once. We've come close a few times. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing with this. Same. It looks like we all got civilian. Am I crazy? You get so much money for this. Fuck, so many Goliaths. Holy shit.
fucking Goliaths, man. Goliaths and Dragoons. Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you nuking as well? Yeah. No way the second, but I'm, I'm a general. We're like, yeah. we're like right on top of it, both of us. What'd you get? I got two marines and the hydro. The next three I purchased. Really loud. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. 
got a bonus cannon. That sucks. Barely ever shoots. It's so annoying. You're really spiking up, Jesus. You're red, right? No, no you're not. Oh, it's that Kofuyu. He's Damn. doing pretty good. He's had a good run, yeah. He got really good Hydra run. My second super hydro, let's go. Nice.
I got two Tassadars? What the fuck? I forgot to start my next new fuck. Launch detected. Launch I don't even know what's after this. I don't remember. Okay, I remember. More ba battle cruisers, I guess. Dude, Red has like five four times hunter killers. That's crazy. Yeah. That was insane luck. I got two four X I've got two super fighters, two super goons, and two super marines. Damn. Got a mix.
And these scouts are so fast. Yeah, man. Can't even target them. I almost didn't get that. That's scary. No, not like this. we've ever got though that's close to the end right i think yeah <sighs> funny i didn't have to mix and match so much maybe we've been okay shit shit hey what's up Ozzy? yeah we got up to like 28 Minutes 50 or something really mm -hmm. far into it. Oh, we got so far, man. Water. Water. Get a couple of things set up over here. That was a good run, though. Did all right that game. Hmm. 
If only we had like a fourth that was doing similar to us, maybe we just barely would be okay. It's hard though, yeah, it feels like you have to really like get a bit lucky and double down on one unit type to get maximum value for the late game. Yeah, it seems like that for sure. Like just pure Hydra or pure Marine only. I feel like pure marine would be the best because once we hit some of those later stages like Ling and uh, Zealot, you know, they're small units, so... No, it, it doesn't matter for the uh, super superheroes. The unit types only matter for non-heroes. Oh, really? Yeah, the super superheroes actually deal true damage. They do the same damage to everything. Right. But the base units obviously don't, so, yeah. It's another reason why the super superheroes are so good is they damage the same to everything. That makes sense. That's why they bugged the sh the attacks so that the Hydra shoots like a devourer shot. Yeah, yeah. It's like its own custom shoot, attack type. Right. Marine shoots like a battle cruiser. Yeah, yeah. The I people think... who make these maps are so fucking smart. <laughs> I don't know how the hell they do this shit? Uh, very long, many years of map making experience, I guess, as well. Yeah. They got more it's and more creative. Thankless job. <laughs> Like, you think about <clears throat> Brutal War casting being, like, a thankless job, but fucking map making, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we get some pretty good feedback on our casts. I'd say it's somewhat thankful. Yeah, I mean, we do, we have fans and stuff, but yeah, it's not, like, Valorant casting or yeah. something like that, you know? No, I agree. We're doing community service in the Brood War scene. <laughs> yep. So, work of passion, work of love. Most definitely. That's why I hate waking up in the morning to go to work, but I wake up every morning and try to cast Brood War. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta finish setting up my Discord server at some point. And start inviting people to it. Yeah, do it. I suck at making a Discord server. My Discord server blows. I barely have anybody talking in there. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I haven't really put the effort in. Yeah, I imagine mine will be similar to yours, probably, at least for a while. Is what it is. Gotta get some tips from, like, a Cookie or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he knows a lot more what he's doing, as far as that goes. Oh, yeah, Nom Discord has, like, so many features on it. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is pretty insane. He's done a lot with it. Really deep. Really deep. KKKK Ling Rush. Hey, Dustin. Welcome to the chat. We're going to be starting out with some KC AIM casting soon with Saiyan. Just been chilling on some UMS maps for a little bit, and then we're going to be jumping into it. We did a few of the games last night already and we've got the majority of the games remaining to cast today and then those will be edited up and uploaded to his youtube channel say in kcm do you want to do one more before we get into the kcm or what are you feeling
Sorry, did you say something? Yeah. Do you did you want to play one more before we get into KCM or how are you feeling? Okay, last one. And we'll do it. Nice. We got so far in that last one. I think it's gonna be disappointing. This Oh probably. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get like ten minutes in. <laughs> You never know. You, sometimes we don't even get that far because if like we get a bad run or there's like one person sandbagging and no one can carry. Oh look, we got Arzy the Husky going to be sliding in. Oh, with Mouse as well, going to be sliding into the hot seat. Nice. Oh, three Hydra. Okay, okay. I'm just going to try experimenting this game and like really double down into Hydra and just see what happens. Okay. So five, six, seven. You can get a lot of Hydra upgrades early then if you're going to do it that way. Because right. it'll pay off later anyway. Yeah, we're gonna try. Five build because it leaves you even minerals. Right. If you get plus six, it leaves you even mineral too because it's ten. Yeah, you can do that as well. Oh my god, so many Goliaths. Fuck. Feels bad, man. I just got like four or five Goliaths in a row. Always oh, sucks. Sell, sell two Goliaths, buy one Goliath. <laughs> sell another Goliath, buy another Goliath. Like, fuck. That's how it goes sometimes, it's really annoying. rounds of this thing getting to our KCM cast. I love when I get mineral bonus early. 
Nice. Oh, jeez. Nuke is better though, obviously. Mm. <laughs> I just sold fucking like five dragoons and then I just bought two more dragoons. <laughs> <laughs> and another one, holy shit. My super hydra. I hate that sound. That nightmare sound. <laughs> you could have nightmares about it. <laughs> <laughs> Marine, let's go. Orange, got a probe. Nice. Is that you or? It's me, yeah, thank you. God, I 
can't kill. Oh shit, we're gonna go down. No, oh. I was decent looking. <sighs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Disappointing. Yeah, this one is. Disappointing. All right, let me smoke up before we jump straight into it. You could fire up your stream so I can set up my OBS and shit, that'd be handy. Okay. Alright guys, we'll be starting shortly. How much do you think you... Are you there? I'm here. How much do you think you spend on weed per month? In Britain. In Britain. I don't know, a few hundred. Good God. <laughs> oh yeah, we watched Shuttle vs. Sharp. <clears throat> hmm? Shuttle vs. Sharp, we watched already. And Sabres next. Nice. Do you know, wait, so what's the map going to be, do you know? Um, what's it called? What's the name of this map? This one is Dark Origin. That's it. Okay, okay. I was, think I was thinking Destination. That's what it kind of looks like. A similar size to destination in terms of the map layout. Skinnier map, taller. Skinny well. tall map with the <laughs> double entrance to your main base. Yeah, it's got a few similarities. I hated destination. I thought it was such a shit map. <laughs> There's way too many things to fuck around with in that map. This one looks a lot better though. Just the control in the main middle of the map is so powerful here. It's you just cannot give up that location. I feel like whoever yeah. holds that's just gonna win no matter what. I haven't seen Sharp play TVZ for a while. I wonder if he's uh gonna be able to bowl over Saber with some strong SK or he's gonna mix it up. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take a piss, get a drink, then we can start. Okay.
Yo. Yo. You got some tea or water or something? Got a little water here. Good. Good to go. <clears throat> I built up this voice over years. Years <laughs> of solo casting. This co this is this duo casting shit's easy, son. It's fucking easy. <clears throat> it's like, what? I get to take breaks? Get out of here. I know, right? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't changed any settings from last night, but let's just do a little quick check. Speak, my brother. Speak. I am Thor, God of Thunder. Sound check, sound check. One, two, three. Sunny boy in the seat with Saiyan SC going into this game one between Saber and Sharp. Okay, let me check it. Check it, yeah. Is that cantina music? <laughs> I was just singing my. Oh boy, wait a second, what's this? What? What's what? It's choppy as fuck. Hold on a second. Oh, the recording is. Oh my god, what? Okay. What's the matter? I'm just looking back at some of our recordings from last night. The beginning was a little choppy, but it, it fixed itself after a few seconds. Oh, okay. We didn't we didn't start talking for the first few seconds. Anymore. Oh, you had my heart skip a beat there for a second, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Our recordings from yesterday look good. Let me just check this recording again. What was wrong with it? All right, this is why we do tests. It's this is so why we do tests. fucking choppy. This is why we do so tests. So fucking choppy. Exactly why we do tests, Sam. Okay. Oh, 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 what did I just click? That was not right. No, no, no. I need to open it, run as administrator. I've learned that over time. I, I have it set to automatically run it as administrator, my OBS, but mm. it doesn't always work. So let's check it again. Oh, I got spoiled. Damn it. Where's this game? Saber versus Sharp. Okay. Um... Test, test, testing. Testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Saiyan SC and Zan in the casting booth. Going to be casting a great KCM series here today. Saber versus Sharp. Okay. Let's get into it. Check this shit. Better not be fucked up again. Okay. Okay, it looks good. You know, the way my, like, uh, 
processor works or something is that it I, I, I found this out a long time ago is that it will like um, send a lot of the processing power to to certain things over other things so like I don't know why but OBS it labels as like a low low priority so it like slows it way down the That's recording gets fucked pretty if weird on, yeah if it's on if it's on running as, as administrator then it ups the priority like 100% mm. goes to the top priority yeah um yeah. yeah that that was that was a like a week of research way back in the day <laughs> i was trying to figure out why the fuck my obs kept switching <laughs> and stuff <laughs> Why why were my recordings so choppy when I would record? Uh, it, it actually started with um, replay recordings, right? Because I have mm. StarCraft open, and then all the processing power would be going to StarCraft, and then none would be going to OBS, <laughs> and it would just be completely shit. Yeah. So I had to figure that out. but uh, It looks good now. Nice. You ready nice. to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you need okay, to uh, restream again, yeah. Okay. Okay, with the elimination of shuttle, the all kill prize has been taken off the table. That 600,000 won will not be divvied out this week. It's going to continue to grow into week number six. And we are now starting off this game with Saber versus Sharp here on Dark Origin. Sharp up in the top left-hand corner. Saber in the bottom right. A ZVT on Dark Origin. Should be a lot of fun. A forward Rax here being thrown down from Sharp. Yeah, but a really super fast nine scout going to be coming out from Saber might see this instantly and maybe get the full denial on it. He's going to maybe even cancel that barracks unless the drone doesn't barely see it. I think he should see it. Just always oh, one hex out of range of seeing it. Oh my god, he's one hex out of range. <laughs> Come on, just a little bit more to the left. Oh no. Oh, he, he, that, that, Saber. I mean, that was almost like a, 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 almost a free win for him if he scouts that right away and gets the denial on that. So really unfortunate for Saber not being able to spot that barracks right away. But now we'll smell some things up after confirming the SCV count and not seeing anything in the main. So he be throwing down his 12 hatchery and they're probably a little what? bit annoyed that he hasn't found it yet. But it's going to be doing good gas. It's going to be a really fast vulture build out from Sharp. Maybe even building this factory in a very nice little proxy location as well. Going to be putting the pressure on Saber, who hasn't yet just thrown down his pool either. Whoa, that's a mistake. Saber, uh, he should have thrown down the pool after seeing no barracks in the main. Because there's definitely going to be pressure here. A bunker going to be thrown down. And yeah, I don't know where he's going to drop this uh, factory, but... He could drop it very, very close to the main. Maybe over at the third base location, he could fl uh, build a vulture, float it up, uh, and you know land in the main, build another vulture. Those are all viable mm. options here for Sharp right now. A big drone pull coming from Saber. He's taking this very seriously, but not seriously enough to put down the early pool. It's crazy. Yeah, he has pulled down like a lot of drones, so seven, a very healthy number of drones. You need to pull at least five, six is a good number, and seven is kind of like the really not wanting to die to this kind of way of dealing with it. But oh, he might catch this drone on the left. The scouting drone does go down for Saber, so Sharp already picking up a nice little advantage. He needs to get like two drone kills to be kind of even with Saber, three to be ahead. Does get the second drone kill, so now Sharp already has stabilized the position and get to get a third, so now... Looks like Sharp is going to be in a very commanding position. Also getting a fourth drone kill. So really great play from Sharp. And a fifth drone goes down. Maybe even a sixth. He does get the sixth drone as well. So Saber might have to do some kind of all-in play in this game. Or at least try and um, stabilize himself with a sunken. And try and get into some speed links to deal with his vulture rest. It's going to be coming up soon. It's a really bad situation for Saber. He might even have a Wraith to uh, follow up this uh, vulture soon as well. Yeah, that is as painful as it gets. Losing that many drones and then being forced to throw down a sunken as well. It just does not get worse than that. That's minus one drone, minus a whole bunch of minerals as well. 
He's got a few drones here in the main, a few drones in the natural, but he can't really afford to mine gas right now. He just doesn't have the money, and the Lings are going to get across the map and do absolutely nothing. I don't understand building, uh, you know, using seven drones to fight the Marines so uh, aggressively and then building Lings after that because it does nothing here. That's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately for Saber, this really didn't work out for him. He lost so many drones, and this Vulture, without speed upgrade on these Lings, will kill essentially an infinite amount of those Zerglings, so Saber going to be on the back foot and having to rely on this uh, Sunken. The only thing going for him is that this wasn't a proxy factory, so there's not going to be any Vultures in the main base anytime soon, but that Wraith coming out is going to be a bit of a nightmare situation for him, because he's only just now starting to mine gas, and we'll have to throw down a Hydralisk then in a bit of a panic. Could turn this into a bit of a two-hatch Hydra situation, maybe put on some pressure on too sharp after fending off the base. There's going to be a Vulture run by into the main base. Drones desperately trying to drill. Does get the snipe on the Vulture and deny the other one getting inside. Really good play from Saber. They're not taking any further damage in this game at this far. That could have been game-ending damage there if Sharp had gone into the main. Would have lost every single drone here. Had to transfer all his drones to the natural. That would have been so, so painful. So really, really good that he managed to block that. It doesn't really mess up sharp that much though those were kind of sacrificial we know there are not many lings on the map anymore and wraiths are going to be out here to scout everything another vulture coming forward as well uh everything looking really really good for sharp here he's going to get a, at least a, an overlord kill maybe even two well he's he's gonna try and kill this one overlord in the natural and micro it down a little bit there is one hydra coming out to fend that off but with good micro from sharp and there's no range on this hydra obviously so we'll be able to pick off that um, Overlord for about half of its HP. And there is another Overlord out on the map in the top right that Sharp can go and hunt down soon as well. Maybe further supply blocking Saber already. Um, kind of capitalizing on his advantage already. He's got so many drone kills in the early game. And Saber's desperately just trying to drone out and get by with the minimal amount of Hydras. So we'll also be losing probably at least one or two Overlords as well. It looks like Sharp going to be hunting down this Overlord in the top right successfully. Mm, very nice moves by Sharp. Finding this Overlord, trying to find a hidden location in the top right-hand corner, but not able to get there in time. Sharp finishing that Overlord off, going to supply block once again. Here comes a dropship. Vultures into the main is mm. going to be the plan here. Saber seems to have sniffed it out, though. He does have some forces here ready to go. Um, it's, it's kind of predictable at this point. You know that there's a... Bunch of vultures out on the map, and of course there is that starport, so you can kind of predict that you may be going for something like this, but look at this mine! Oh, oh two hydras dying already, so painful. And hey. more are actually heading out on the map, what is he doing? He doesn't know this, but this dropship, there's nothing in the main I don't think right now. These three vultures are going to get so much damage in the main base, all the units have run up, some lings are popping out, but they're not going to help that much. They're already two drones have gone down, the drone line gets, does get evacuated, meanwhile the lings are trying to minesweep all the way to the natural shop to maybe put some pressure on at the front. There is yet a bunker to be made, so... Maybe you could delay that and put on some pressure, maybe kill these Marines. Some mines are being laid down to stall this out. There are uh, speedlings now going to be mine dragging into the Marines. Take out one of the Marines. There's another mine that goes down. There's still three Marines left alive. The bunker will just barely finish in time. Looks like Saber trying to pick off one of those Marines just before the bunker finishes. So only now one Marine in the bunker. But there is lots of drones going down the natural for Saber. So many kills. One of these kills, uh, seven, two, and four on these vultures thus far. So an absolutely insane amount of kills as so many drones and links have gone down. And more drones are going to be falling and biting the dust as these vultures rain down fragmentation grenades onto these poor helpless drones. Some links are going to be coming out to try and delay and buy time with Aspire just now finishing. But so much damage has been done to Saber. It's really critical at this point. I don't think he can recover. Yeah, at this point, is there any chance of coming back from here? I don't think so, especially with more vultures running in here to the natural. He's going to pick off even more drones. What have we got so far with drones? Only six remain. Five now. Total drone count here for Saber. Wow. Just incredibly, incredibly low. He's going to pop out two meters and I think GG out the moment he reaches uh, his opponent's base and sees the fences. Uh, there, there's, there's just nothing left. One drone. We have one drone. Saber's still <laughs> in this game. What is going on? Yeah, it's like that um, Zerg. Oh, he takes out the science vessel. That's one little hope for Saber, I guess. If, it, <laughs> if there's no anti-air, maybe something can happen. He hasn't yet started turrets, but there's only two muters, so there's not much DPS here. And there is one Marine going to be helping store this out a little bit. Saber desperately trying to pick off some of these SCVs and now focus down the Marine. But yeah, all Sharp has to do is just morph like uh, two or three, four turrets at a time. And Saber going to be GG out. 
Yeah, if he had like eight mutas there, maybe there was a chance, but with just four, Saber forced to tap. Arp is going to continue on here. Uh, his spree with his incredibly aggressive style, uh, taking down multiple strong players in Sharp and Saber. Um, I think this is the first time we've seen Saber in the KCM, but uh, it's it's unfortunate that he went out that way. That's mm. one of the most painful ways to go down in uh, Zerg versus Terran is to get pulled apart by vultures. Uh, it really, really, I mean, it. I, as a Zerg player, I've been in that situation so many times where you lose a couple of drones to the bunker rush and then drops or vulture run buys end up killing a bunch of your drones. It just feels so, so nasty. Even though the Terran's on one base, their power in their uh, tank is just so, so strong and yeah, just not able to bring it back. So Saber's knocked out. We're going to go on to our next one. It's either or it's going to be best versus Sharp, actually. We'll see if Sharp can stand up to this amazing player. The the Protoss lineup this week, pretty uh, pretty lacking, I feel, with Paralyzed and Shuttle thrown in there. But best is incredibly, incredibly good. Absolutely capable of taking Sharp down. We'll find out if he's going to be able to do that. Coming right up. Oh, that was like a run-on sentence. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't end it. What, what was I doing? <laughs> You're good. Okay, <clears throat> <sighs> get rid of sharp. Oh no, not sharp. What am I doing? Get rid of saber. <clears throat> a bit of a quick one there that last game sharp versus saber we're now spawning on heartbreak ridge with best in the center right sharp in the center left this uh this map's been around for a very very long time and it can lead to some really great uh, interesting and innovative play in PV or PVT, excuse me, uh, which we've seen lately from many. I wonder mm. if any of those strategies are going to be uh, influencing Best here. Uh, I really don't think so. Just knowing Best's style, he doesn't mix it up too much with that kind of thing. So I think we will just see a forward gateway zealot pressure, Gastille into gateway man. Um, you know, one one to two control groups of uh, Dragoons and then a flood of Zealots to try and overwhelm the Terran positions with eventually getting Speed Shuttles and High Templar support for Storms. Yeah, Best does what he does and, you know, it's very, very difficult to copy what someone like Mini is capable of doing. Uh, his timings, his overall game knowledge and understanding of positions is, is so incredibly strong. I don't know if... Uh, Bess is willing to incorporate some of those wilder, more you know, innovative moves that Mini's able to pull out. And yeah, you're probably right. He'll just go for a more standard play and try to run him over with Zealots in the mid game. That's mm. kind of the way that Bess likes to play. And uh, there's not really any reason, not, not any really good reason for him to um, kind of switch up or deviate from that style. But mm -hmm. Personally, for me, I loved the game with Mini. Oh, who was it first again uh, on this map last week or, or the uh, week before? Was it Royal or was it someone else? I actually I cannot remember, but it was so incredibly close. That was the one with the uh, uh, proxied Reaver right over there at the, the mm -hmm. bottom left. And uh, the Terran player pushing across the map. Those Reavers kept coming in and getting kills. But uh, then also there was another map... Uh, game on, with Mini as well on this map against Terran where uh, the positions were reversed and mm -hmm. he mined out that mineral patch and kept putting Dragoons in the back. He managed to win that one. Yeah, that was a really good game. Uh, nice uh, Marine Micro uh, from Sharp going to be forcing the seller out of the base and it looked like a really nice engineering blade block is going to 
upset Beth's exact plan of action, but he did sneak down with the probe to start mining out this back mineral to maybe open up another line of attack later on to put on some pressure as well going into the early mid-game phase. So it would be interesting to see if he can make use of this. He has uh, currently not thrown down his Nexus, so currently going to be trying to get into the natural and uh, confirm the CC timing. Doesn't see it just yet. Sharp hasn't quite got the 400 minerals required to throw it down, but we'll be throwing it in a moment. Uh, actually, I don't think he did. Did he just put down a... What did he just throw down the factory first? Yeah, he's going to... Okay, I thought he was going for a second. They're going to be taking a really fast command center, but instead it's going to be throwing down the factory in, all, in a very standard way. Mm, the factory going down here. The Nexus is going to follow shortly for best, but... Uh, trying to do something here? What is he actually doing? Oh, he's trying to jump mm. over with the probe. Ah, yeah. oh, not able to get it. The focus fire from the Marine on the probe. Very smart play from Sharp, denying that uh, glitch over the mineral patches. Yeah, it would have been really funny to see it though, right? <laughs> Seeing the Zealot just jump over the mineral patch and start being a little bit of a fawn and Sharp side. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now he's going to bring down a Dragoon and hopefully clear out that Marine and then maybe get back to mining that uh, mineral again. He, he is bringing a probe up. So he is planning to do that. And the Nexus is pretty late. It just went down. Mm. So he's he's got some uh, got some plans here for uh, Sharp's base. He's going to try and get behind here somehow, some way. Yeah, and Sharp, the... Sharp elected to kill his gas with two SCVs like uh, Light's been doing. So I guess he he um, is a little bit concerned about some pressure coming out. He doesn't want to be uh, risking a bunker expand in these situations. He's going to be running forward and guns down the probe before it can even get away. So nice little execution there from Sharp. Going to be denying any more shenanigans happening in that bottom left, at least for the time being. Really well done there. Just completely shutting down that play with just a simple move, bringing those four Marines up and quickly gunning that down. Really removes the the options here for Bass to do any damage uh, from that high ground, at least for now, at least until he gets a shuttle out. Uh, I guess all these players have been watching the KCM games and... Uh, witnessing what happened with Mini uh, in that uh, previous game has left a scar in the minds of the Terran players. They really need to control that area, make sure that that doesn't get mined out. Taking quite a bit of damage on this Dragoon, mm. that was a mistake. Yeah, nice little skirmish from Sharp there, taking a few shots on that Dragoon with the tank is uh, definitely going to soften them up and make it a little bit riskier for them to come in and maybe try and snipe the siege tank on top of the bunker. We do have another probe coming down here again. Is he just going to expand down here or is he actually going to come in for another play? It looks like he's going all the way down into the bottom right with that probe. So not going to be doing any more shenanigans, at least for the time being. Maybe think... Maybe thinking about taking a quicker third base here mm -hmm. as he goes into Reaver Tech. Yeah, uh, I think so. The the option of taking this base in the bottom right, it, it feels dangerous to me. What do you think about that as opposed to taking the top right? I, I like it a little bit more in a way because it does stop the Terran from being able to not only contain your rally point, but also lay siege to your third base at the same time. So kind of forcing the Terran to split his focus by having to come down into the bottom right of the map kind of pulls the Terran out of position to maybe open up some counterattack options. And if some Vulture's getting into the natural, trying to run by, two do make it into the main base and going to be laying mines in the choke point and then trying to get some probes. But meanwhile, some uh, tanks and the goons are going to be trading. One tank does go down. Uh, while uh, both players are distracted and Vulture's getting into the main base, getting a few probe kills. I don't think he's lost too many probes, but this is still pretty good damage. A little bit lost mining time and uh, tension. Oh, he's attacking his own pile on best. is a little bit of a flustered situation. Not quite on top of things as he accidentally A clicks onto that pylon. And Dragoon going to be eating a mine outside the gateway and the natural expansion. More probes starting to go down for Sharp. It's actually looking pretty dangerous right now. Like uh, Bess is kind of falling apart a little bit. Didn't anticipate this, this happening. And now with these three mines laid down in the natural, going to be trying to get on top of the, the Vulture with the probes instead to try and fight the back. But another Vulture is coming in. There's also a Vulture on the high ground skirmishing up there as well. And a Reaver going to be coming out. To oh, here it's mine! Oh, taking out oh. so many probes, Saiyan! No! Oh my god! Oh! That was one of the biggest probe uh, mine connections we have ever seen in KCM. Wow. Wow. That's such a big swing here for Sharp. I, I was uh, going to say that Sharp 
these type of situations are where he absolutely thrives when things are down and dirty and you know the Protoss player is being stretched to the max. Um, both players are having their APM tax. That's when the Vultures become so incredibly powerful, laying down mines when you're not completely paying attention and uh, getting those connections off. Uh, it, it's just so powerful, and Sharp did an excellent, excellent job of capitalizing on that really wild situation, able to get those mines in the natural, able to get uh, Vulture Spy into the main, able to kill the Dragoons on the map. Everything went his way. And now Bass limping so hard right here. He's got a very low count on probes, and Sharp is ready for the kill. Four factory push is coming up very, very soon. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for a best to hang on here. He was down 20 supply when that attack was all said and done. So much losses for best to have to try and weather and uh, see if he can make it out of this storm. Sharp looking like in a very commanding position. Going to be throwing down some armories of that as well to be getting his upgrades, but will be wanting to put on some pressure with this uh, four factory timing. Is, is that four factories or five? Okay, four. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be still a, a pretty aggressive push coming out of Sharp here, but he also has tech options from getting that really fast starport. Has the Wraith as well to kind of mitigate some of the shuttle's uh, versatility. Ooh, might get this Observer if Bess is not careful. Yes, does get the Observer. Great little uh, pick off for her Sharp there. The Observer just barely in the turret's range as some uh, Vultures also coming out onto the map, doing a bit of a uh, distraction and harassment, getting some mines laid for scouting while this dropship is sneaking all the way around the top part of the map. Going to be sneaking in for even more damage, maybe getting behind the mineral line and then natural and then dropping a few more vultures into the main base. Could be a lot of damage done to best as a follow-up here. Ooh, if there was a tank in this dropship, he could kill so many probes because you can't mm. see the tank siege up on the high ground and you won't have any notification until it actually fires its first shot. So... If there's a big stack of probes on one of these patches, it would be an insane amount of damage. Here we go. Doesn't see it. He has no idea. There we go. Just now revealing the vultures here on the high ground. Going to drop two more into the main. No tank here, but still a ton of damage is going to go down. Best losing so many probes. He's transferring. But where do you go here? There's vultures on the high ground. There's vultures in the main base. He's going to drop once again. I think the vultures now onto the low ground here. Killing so many. Oh my gosh. Good handling of this by Best, but just added damage at this moment is so painful mm. because he's already lost so much. It just hurts just that much more. Yeah, and Best is doing a really good job of um, kind of pressuring the front with these Reavers, slowing down any potential move outs, but Sharp doesn't really care too much about that. He's sneaked out and like has got this uh, command center going at the third base location already. He's ready to take that. Going to be going into six factory production soon with upgrades on the way and transitioning into a much more standard style. Doesn't seem to want to be putting on any pressure. I think he feels that he's done enough damage now that he just needs to expand and turtle up and slowly creep down to this southern threshold and prevent any counterattack from best. These Reavers' job mainly to slow down the advancement. Oh, Rafe actually going to get on top of this shuttle. And there's no Dragoons here to save this uh, shuttle right the second. If so, if Sharp controls this, might get both of these Reavers and the shuttle for his effort. And I think he is going to get both of them. Yeah, he is. That's a really good pick off from Sharp there. Looks like Best in a bit of trouble here, Sam. <gasps> oh, it's going to get the tank. Okay. Does trade out for Dragoon, but good moves there by Best to keep those uh, Dragoons active on the map and take advantage of sharp pushing forward to try and pick off those reavers the wraith really paying for itself this game it did get taken out during that engagement but uh you know it picked off some early oh no it's actually still alive there it is right there thought that actually went down but it managed to kill the shuttle it managed to kill a couple of observers as well so a really good investment there by Sharp. He's putting mines behind this army. Mm. If he starts to push this, if he unseizes everything and starts to push, uh, those he dragoons could, could uh, walk backwards into a bunch of mines here. It would be really, really bad for Best. Well, he took out those two Reavers and Shuttles, so like a lot of Best utility was kind of like disabled there. So it would be really hard for him to slow down the push, but it looks like Sharp's identified his position in this game, and I think he understands that attacking would also be kind of playing into best hands and maybe like flipping the tables a little bit so instead he's just going to really turtle hard for a while and just wait for his upgrade timings even going to be making a little bit of a wall down here at the third o'clock 
uh, sorry, third base location with some supply depots making a bit of a wall. We've seen Flash do this kind of style on this map before in the past, although I've also seen Flash wall off entire segments of the map, like this entire lane to the north. I've seen him wall off that from left to right with a huge, massive wall of depots. You can really tell hard on this map as Terran if you want to, if you feel threatened by a more aggressive standard style of Protoss where they want to kind of fight you in the middle of the map and try and surround and swallow up your tanks. It's like another drop moving around the other side. That was the drop that wasn't killed early on in the game. He's going to sense these dragoons, sees the dragoons moving down uh, from the north there and could slip by with the, the drop ship now, although there is a pylon in position to spot this as it comes around the map. Um, got lots of vultures out here, kind of skirmishing with the uh, dragoons here. He's going to pick off that probe as well, as preventing that base from going up. Uh, over here at the top right, and keeping on the similar base count to best at this point is a really big victory for the Terran player. It's currently three base to three base, and that's fantastic. Going to pick up this. Oh! Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to get a huge amount of probes there. Oh my god, huge the Dragoons! Mine. Wow, four Walking Dragoons. right into those mines. So, so painful. Tank drop here. Going to help to push these Dragoons back and get a maximum damage. I can't believe how many Dragoons he's killing right now. This is insane. He's losing so many Dragoons right now. I mean, he's Pick actually... Up the tank. Pick up the tank! He's managed to yeah, like, he get a get little it. bit of head of in supply. Like, he was down for a while, and now he's finally trickling ahead of shot. But this is really not a great position. He's lost so many Dragoons to these mines and harassment. His fourth base has been delayed exponentially. Like, only just now throwing down the Nexus is best at 15 minutes. Never a position you want to be in. Like, the normal four base timing is around 10 minutes in PVT. So, a five minute late uh, fourth base is going to be really hurting him in his production here. More mines being laid down outside the natural, harassing the Zealot line. There's not many Dragoons here to fight these Vultures, so Sharp able to skirmish and take out some of these Zealots while distracting um, um, Best and getting around the back of the base of another two Vultures. Oh, nice little pylon wall going to be denying the Vultures getting an angle on shooting these probes. I don't think he can shoot from that uh, very edge there, so I think it uh, looks like it has going to be mitigated a lot of the damage coming in from those Vultures, at least for the time being, but it's a really precarious situation for Best. Sharp is looking so strong in this game. Yeah, and I like what you said earlier about taking the bottom right base. It uh, forces the, the Terran, as you said, to push in different locations, but it's also forced best to keep a bunch of Dragoons down at the bottom center. So once he lost his Dragoon force up here mm. uh, in the top left, or, or top right, excuse me, it made it really hard for him to hold on uh, and take that base uh, over in the top right. So that's been a painful, a bit of a a detriment or a downside to having the base first taken down in the bottom right. He's going to pick off this uh, dropship, which is nice. Dropship being picked off there is very, uh, very good stuff for Bez. He's going to drop a ton of zealots on these tanks. Most of them are not uh, sieged up, though, so not getting the maximum damage. Oh, the storm! Really, really good, but... The Zealot number is kind of low at this moment. Not a lot of Vultures as well, though. And this rally of Zealots is going to get on top of a lot of these tanks. Best taking a reasonable trade overall against this kind of overwhelming force of Tank Vulture. Surprising amount of damage coming out here for Best. And Sharp, I don't think he can push forward against this. This is scary. There's going to be another round of Zealots here in a second. He has to back away. Maybe mm. try to take that 6 o'clock. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take uh, some vulture raids out to the fourth, fourth base location and do some damage this way. He knows he can't push for now. Uh, one thing you can do on this map is actually expand to the left of the six o'clock, so your kind of CC is tucked in even more. So you're kind of slightly long distance mining it to make it harder for the Protoss to come in and uh, harass that base and snipe off the command center. It's like uh, best going to be con continuously harassing the tank line or sharp being very active. Uh, as much as he can be, knowing that he's a little bit behind in the economic game state, but has done a good job of reducing that tank count so far. Looks like Sharp is wanting to take this 6 o'clock base and get in a little bit access to some more minerals so that he can flood with more Zealots, uh, flood with more Vultures to kill Zealots and load up the map with mines and try and be as cost-efficient as possible. He is slowly creeping his way across the map while harassing, but best doing a good job of also cleaning out the mines on the uh, northern side of the map and maybe opening up this another line of a counter-attack, leading to best natural. 
I really like what uh, Sharp is doing here by setting up some tanks on the high ground and some tanks on the low ground. Whoa, what the hell just happened there? Did you see that tank die? I don't know what that died from, but that was a little bit funny. Setting up tanks on the high ground and the low ground means that Best, with his style of mostly just gateway army zealot, trying to run down these tanks, it's going to be very hard for him to attack both of those locations. If he attacks the high ground, the low ground tanks are getting a lot of free shots. If he attacks the low ground, the high ground tanks are getting a lot of free shots as well. The turrets there in the middle are going to prevent some of those uh, shuttles from you know, dive bombing these tanks here. And Sharp has secured this base without too much trouble, netting him four bases and bringing him once again to even base count with best. Yeah, the only thing that would be like a real big issue for Sharp right now was like recalls into the main. But I think he understands that that's not going to be coming for at least some time. He understands best style. He knows what he's up against right now. A lot of his commitment is in the six o'clock location. Uh, if there was recalls or a poor man's recall of oh vultures coming in to the natural, going to be trying to sneak some kills on those high templars, but wisely best getting them picked up in the shuttle, going to be preventing too many losses. There's a lot of dragoons coming in behind, so Sharp is bleeding off a lot of these vultures. Maybe potentially lead, leading him open to a threatening counterattack from Best. If you do bleed off too many vultures, it can be a trigger for the Protoss to try and find an engagement somewhere, knowing that you haven't got enough uh, supply to clean up the Zealots. Absolutely, and Sharp is getting very close to this bottom right. He needs to push just a little bit farther uh, outside of his fourth base to actually uh, deny this base, but... Uh, every moment that goes by here, Best is mining out more of those minerals. Remember, that was the third base location, so he's been mining that for quite a long time. He hasn't taken the gas, uh, and I don't think he's planning to take that either. But uh, the more minerals he can suck out of this location, the better it is for him in the long run. Eventually, he will expand all the way up to the top left and take that base as well. But uh, for now, just getting rid of these minerals in the bottom right, which Sharp he's eventually going to take that base if this, if this game goes into the late mm. game. That's just beneficial all around for best. Yeah, another another good thing about taking this uh, bottom right as his third is that it will become mined out quicker. So if he does lose it, it's uh, not as valuable of a base for Sharp to take from him and Turtle later on in the game if the, the game does get a bit crazy and split map like that. Um, it looks like um, best is going to be trying to move down forward into the middle and clean out uh, some of these mines and put on a bit of pressure at the front and kind of spread sharp a little bit thin, kind of pulling some of these forces out into the middle as well as that six o'clock. But it looks like Sharp has made up his mind. He wants to go for this base in the bottom right. We've got two science vessels for support. We have quite a few control groups of siege tanks sitting behind this. Going to be inching his way forward, kind of boxing these dragoons in and forcing them to engage. There's no really way they can run unless they kill their own pylon. So all those dragoons are going to be mopped up. There's a lot of blue blood there and not the royal kind. So now Sharp going to be laying siege to this base in the bottom right. And kind of forcing um, Best to respond, but there's a 200, 200 max Terran army, and you can't really fight this head on. And these vultures are going to be running into the D Matrix and sniping off the High Templar that could slow down this push. So, so far, Sharp doing a really good job of starting to crack open this position as efficiently as possible. Yeah, and I kind of question the, uh, the efficacy of the idea here from Best keeping a small contingent of army down here. Uh, for Sharp to kind of just crush against that pylon wall. He stepped forward. The Dragoons, unable to retreat, just get completely destroyed for basically no cost from Sharp. And I, I feel like that army would have been much better out on the map, just kind of uh, looking around, you know, uh, gathering up for a later counterattack where he can hit maybe into the natural, maybe down into the, the 6 o'clock or somewhere else but not just thrown away at that location. Uh, on the plus side, though, Best, he has managed to mine out the majority of the minerals in that bottom right. As you can see, the uh, mineral patches are getting very, very low. I wouldn't expect them to be more than 500 per patch. And that means that Sharp's going to have to look for expansions elsewhere. On the plus side for Sharp, the middle of the map is really only a tenable position for Terran to mine from. Uh, once you get a lot of turrets and tanks set up in that area, you can definitely hold that spot and try to mine those double gases in the middle of the map. But uh, Best, meanwhile, he's going to take top left. He's already got top center, and he's going to try and Huge continuously EMP. break this from different locations. Yeah, big EMP there. 
Yeah, really nice play from Sharp. I love the way he's being so tentative about this push. He's really just inching his way forward, taking little by little, and he's ready to get a maximum value out of his utility unit, still EMPing more and more High Templars as the Zealots now start to stream in. And looks like Spest also now desperately trying to unload his, um, High Templars and Zealots on top of these siege tanks. Some beautiful storms are going down, but there's such a huge tank line down here. I don't know if he can ever crack that. So many of his units are being bottlenecked into the geometry of this map, and Best is going to say GG. Yeah, Best hanging on there for quite a long time. Uh, even though his early game was pretty rough, pretty darn rough with all those vultures getting in and killing an immense number of robes, he still managed to hang on for a good amount of time, but you got to give it to Sharp there. He took his time. He really made sure that he wasn't going to let Best back into that game. The slow, tentative pushing and uh, careful, considered uh, actions there from Sharp lead, lead him to... Uh, basically a guaranteed victory with the center of the map being taken and that position almost impossible to break, especially when you're trying to force a bunch of zealots to that tight, tight little corridor. Very nicely played by Sharp. We're going to jump on to our possibly final game of the night. It's Sharp versus Soma. And, oh God, I hate to say it, but Protoss going out first again, continuing the pattern here that dead flat line with zero points in the season here in week number six that that is painful man oh it's seriously painful we need to see a bit of life in the pros team eventually yeah they need to bring out a, a stronger lineup i think uh even though it, you know we got sharp we got saber players that aren't uh, as well known aren't as storied uh, as some of the other, you know, A tier players, S tier players in this lineup, um, I think that uh, the Protoss need to cheat, just bring out Snow and <laughs> and Best every single week because they're just they just haven't gotten any points, man. What is going on? Snow, Snow, they need Snow Best Mini. Snow Best that Mini is a pretty lineup. good lineup. Anyway, we're gonna jump into our next one. Okay. All right, smoke break. Okay. Uh, I'll check the recordings while we're here. Okay. Yeah, best game kind of went how I thought it would after Sharp did that early damage. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that some of these pro gamers are really good at doing is once they get ahead, they know how to close out the game in the most efficient way. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to look for that probe. Explosion. That was beautiful. How many probes was that? That was like a good nine or ten probes or something. Let's see here. Where was that? Can't find it. Hmm. Oh yeah, right here. How many pros we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen probes. Yeah. And the explosion. <laughs> How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven probes. It's pretty beefy. <laughs> oh, the blue smoke. It's perfect. It's what you like to see. Oh, 
man. All these Pearls players are too busy driving their Bugattis. They need to train more. Pardon? All these Pearls players are too busy, like, banging their girlfriends and driving their Bugattis. They need to train more. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, Chad Protoss playing. Yeah. Chad Protoss enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I love our reaction and KCM's reaction. It's great. Hmm? Case, KCM's reaction and, and our reaction are like in tandem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good. Oh. Someone said to message me and said they enjoyed the cast but they didn't understand the format. Yeah, they don't know what KCM is. I'll explain to them. Here, I have a video that explains it all. Okay, it yeah, send it to me, yeah. I mean, I don't have all the information, but I have some, some good information. It was the first video I made, or the second video I made after um, mm. getting banned. After I got banned. Bam. That's exactly what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, my Brood War brothers, say in SC here. This video is meant as. Yeah, I linked in that video. Thanks for that. No problem. I'll probably have to make an updated one in the future. Get more information about KCM. I'm getting a slow trickle of subs from streaming, but we'll need to, since it's YouTube, I think I'll definitely need to be doing more video content as well to link that to my stream more and like highlight reel my stream pod stuff and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, to, I mean, everyone who's big in streaming has a YouTube channel with highlights. Mm -hmm. Just a, it's like free money content, and then you just clip it, put it on your YouTube. I think account. I even heard. I'm not sure if he still does this, but like even a big name like XQC at one point said something to the effect of, he just gave his YouTube channel to an editor and said, "Do what you want with it. It's yours." But like, because he still benefits in the sense of getting traffic to his stream, but oh, yeah. his way of like paying the guys like you do then he's like incentivized to make a good youtube channel because it's like he's getting the revenue from it kind of thing right right it drives it drives traffic to his twitch yeah i think yeah. i think that's how he was doing it. i don't know if he's still doing it that way but that's kind of a smart thing to do even if you're a big streamer and also takes all the hassle away from you not having to deal with it yeah that makes sense i mean you see he makes enough money i mean mm. he can make decisions like that for sure. And it also, like, it's a pain in the ass to, like, try to take down other people's, like, clips of your channel and stuff, too. Yeah. Annoying. Yeah. Just to not just to not have to worry about it. It's probably good enough for him. 
especially because I guess yeah, he all he wants to do is just like stream and focus on that. So it takes a lot of weight off his shoulders, not having to worry about it. Yeah, I like I like what Artosis has done with Invisible Men. You know that guy who just like Invisible Men Productions. Mm. Seen his channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he started off doing like little meme things, and then now he does a lot of uh, Artosis editing. Editing, I think. It's kind of clever as well because he, in a way, like by making those memes, he was like portfolio portfolioizing himself to Artosis and the community, and yeah. because he got accepted, like he got a job out of it, kind of thing. Like. Mm -hmm. That's smart. I Maybe mean, I should do something like that with another <laughs> streamer. Just start like making clips of their stuff, I've, I've or like heard, meme clips of their stuff. I've heard advice from people in the industry that say, don't go to people wanting them to do shit for you. Go go to people doing shit for them, and they'll find they'll see your value because you can just show up and like do shit for them. You have value because of that, and like right. that will land you yeah. positions and opportunities. Yeah, that's a great example of this. For sure. Um, Okay, so potentially the last game here of the series. You ready mm -hmm. to go? Yeah, let's get on. Let's just get it on. You ever watch MXC? MXC? No, what's that? <laughs> it was like an American TV show where they took a Japanese game show and then dubbed their voices over top of it and just made took the piss out of everything they were doing <laughs> it's like most extreme challenge something like that and mixy and like you know they do like obstacle courses where people are like reminds me oh, of um we've got something similar in the uk called takeshi's castle where it's like an obstacle that's it takeshi castle yeah that was the japanese show that they they re dubbed over yeah we had the british version of that so we, we just called it takeshi's castle still but we obviously had like british what? commentator yeah <laughs> i gotta look that up it's good man that was that was some good tv man oh my god that's so funny you should check it out yeah castle british version let me see <laughs> it's the guy that's from i don't know if you've seen red dwarf Craig Charles, his name is. Okay, I think I think the um MXC might have actually been better. <laughs> <laughs> they they really did like uh, stupid shit. Like the 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 um the the dub was really fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was so stupid. Alright, boys, just gonna go into this next game in a sec. Uh... 
something like this. Watch, watch this shit. All right, so look at this. Hi, everyone. I'm Hairball, the earless, one-eyed career cat. Study hard and stay in school, or you'll wind up like this big-eared, shiny-suited crackhead. Oh, shut up and go fetch my pipe! <laughs> it's time for MXC, the world's toughest competition in town. It's a career day show as white-collar kids and their mentors battle it out with blue-collar kids and their mentors. It's a classic battle of three-piece suits versus steel toe boots. And now, two guys with rings around their collars, Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano. Welcome. Woohoo! Got a great show today, Ken. It is career day on MXC. Yeah, career day. Right, you are. White collars. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're like really young wards. taking the piss. You know, we've all had some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Like uh, uh, Spider-Man. No, Ken, a real person. Someone respected uh, in their feet. Oh, yeah. oh, you mean like uh, Frodo? Oh, Look, let me give you an example. When I was a young man, I used uh, to correspond yeah. regularly with Mr. Mike Wallace. He yeah, was yeah, considered yeah, to be yeah. my mentor. Oh, mentor. You mean like Ron Jeremy. You know, why don't you just stick yeah, with Frodo, yeah, Ken? And now let's go to someone who's never inspired anyone, Guy LaDouche. Ah. Uh, Guy here. Want to be a field reporter like me? Then just send Guy $19 along with an explicit photo of yourself. Soon you'll be saying things like, get ready to slap wood with plank spankers, followed by the spine-tingling slip disc of doom, and then we trot over to mud butlers and our crowning glorious log drop. You know, Guy has mentored many, but my most famous protege is Danny Glantz. <laughs> I'm Danny, and I love people. And who told you to go shirtless, <laughs> Danny? You did, Guy, and you taught me the term, relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Question, how many think to have a successful career you need a role model? Someone to give you guidance and take you under their wing. Show of hands, now. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. Huh? Only the weak follow. Don't be a sheep like this audience. Oh, Leaders yeah. separate themselves from the herd. We're men, not trained monkeys. Oh, oh Captain? Huh? What? Uh, I'm a trained monkey and I can't get arrested. Hey. Uh, good point. Uh, hey, what say you, so huh? Oh I tried to mention myself and I got fired. That's pretty for tough, but funny. Oh, really? yeah. right, Captain. I I'm her boss and uh, she used to mentor all day long. <laughs> I've been well, mentoring in the employee lounge. Oh, I'd pay to see oh, that. Geez. Stimulating workplace, huh? Like uh, all right, well, let's TV. go. <laughs> The object is to take off simultaneously and cross the planks without getting spanked or fall into our septic fluid, which is run off from the Appalachian Chili Cook-Off <laughs> you know, at the comments. I laughed so hard at this show as a kid, and now I'm older, I understand all the jokes. It's even funnier. <laughs> 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 so true, I never understand. Milk money thief, little Mickey Milk. Never understood all the jokes. Oh, looks like Bosky has nasdaq himself. He went down hard in the fluid, Ken. Oh, he found some shoes. <laughs> Kenny, you shouldn't uh, laugh. He might have a serious head injury. Yeah, I know. Uh, and that's our MXE Impact replay. Yeah, he hits so hard, he could end up with Dow Jones syndrome. We're going all the I way. Like soup. <laughs> that, of course, Ed Kaparski, uh, a uh, Vegas light bulb uh, changer, uh, and a little quirky <laughs> dancer who just likes bright, shiny uh, things. So yeah, he's going to be back for Oh! And he is down into the fluid both of like the bar, Kenny. Uh, okay. uh, what a shame. Next up from Amazon. Holland is Berta Volvegaard hmm? and Jana Verschmeer. I, I wonder if you can buy it on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> buy the show, like buy like the DVD box set or whatever. You mean or what? Oh yeah, the DVD box set. Holy shit! Season two is a hundred and forty-seven dollars. Holy shit! Is that like a collector's item? Is there like, like not many of them or something? I don't know. It's insane. Change. <laughs> And next up for the blue collar team, I spit blood. Here's house painter, Volume Joe four and five and is four hundred seventy nine dollars. What? No, he's definitely having fuck. trouble. Uh, Captain seems that to give him a hand. That is crazy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Titanium sword, my friend. You break that, you bought the thing. Hey, having a tough time out there. Uh, of course, there is no urinating in our septic fluid. He's disqualified. Uh, Let me just search. Be prepared. I own a 
Switchblade. Oh, Here, of course, Uptown Scout leader Boyd Puncher and his young follower yeah. Weedlow Timmy Hogwell. Yeah. Of course, Timmy dreams okay. to have a job one day that allows him to wear tight-fitting shorts and a starched yeah. chip. Yeah, uh, let's just, uh... I got kicked out of the Scouts for making a beer bong out of a lady. That's just, uh, a series that's never gonna come back. <laughs> never gonna be able to watch that. It's unfortunate. Alright, you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Match number seven here in uh, week five of the KCM. It's come down to once again Zerg versus Terran, as it has in every week so far. But uh, we are here on Nemesis cross positions with Sharp versus Soma. I'm expecting a Soma win here. Soma's been so powerful lately, playing on his code account, his ladder account that I've casted a lot recently. And this map specifically, he's shown some really interesting, cool play. I I, I think we did that one together. Am I right, Shin? Yeah, we did. He definitely has been uh, doing some really cool plays on this map. Uh, it, it might be hard for him if Sharp does want to go for a mech switch and control the center later on, but uh, Soma's such a good player, I'm sure he'll find a way of navigating uh, his way around something like that out of Sharp. Uh, Going to be seeing a very standard... Well, Patry play into a fast command center from Sharp, I imagine. So nothing too crazy in the early game phase. And what was your prediction for this match? Do you think we're going to be seeing a longer game with the middle being taken of a mech switch? Do you think we're going to be seeing some interesting guardian play along the uh, sides of the map, uh, abusing the geography here? Or what do you expect to happen in this game, Sam? Well, for those of you who haven't seen that game that we casted, uh, I think it was about a week ago. Uh, we saw Soma take a very fast four base on this map and go into Guardians. Now, mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see if he's going to take a quick third here. Then it'll lead into a, a quick fourth because it seems so powerful, so difficult to beat. Even Light wasn't able to take uh, take it on directly. Uh, had a really hard time struggling against that play. So, Soma, it's been tried and tested, but... Does he feel confident using it here in KCM with money on the line? I'm not sure. Well, he's doing a 2.5 hatch build right now, getting like a 12 hatch, 12 pool, 12 gas. So he does have the minerals to build that third hatchery uh, pretty soon and could be throwing that down on location at one of these bases to kind of be doing a similar build that he was doing in that game with the fast four base guardian style. So could be going for that here with this 2.5 hatch style. Still going to be putting on a little bit of a drone harass at the front of Sharp. Drone doing some excellent... Uh, moving shot to keep catching the SEV as if, every time it turns away, getting it down to I think 15 HP, even though he lost some HP on that drone. So unfortunately for him, wasn't able to keep track of the SEV to catch it on the way back to his natural and getting the kill. But getting it down on such low HP already going to be making it much easier for him to clear up that scout and denying the uh, scouting in his main base to figure out exactly what build Soma's going to want to go for. He does try to intercept the SCV of another drone, but not able to do so. Unfortunately for Soma here, it needs to be denying this SCV scout at all costs if he can get away with it. Here we go. He's going to get one more shot. And nice. down it falls. Keeping that SCV out of the main base is a pretty big deal here because mm -hmm. he doesn't really get much information at all. Just seeing the natural. At least he knows that it's not a Ling all in. That's pretty much all he knows at this moment. The third base will be going down on location, or the third hatchery being placed here in the top center. A quick base from Soma, but on this map, it's definitely doable. And like we said, it's possible to go up to four base here. We'll see if he wants to go for that. That's uh, it's going to be really exciting if he does. Yeah, I think. I mean, he's he's gearing up to do something similar to that. At least he's taking his uh, everything looks very standard right now for two point five hatch. We will, time will tell when he does decide to throw down that hatchery. Uh, he has got something moving out to the uh, three o'clock already. Is I think that might be a drone. So he might be looking to take this fourth base just like he did in that other game. Will be really interesting to see if he goes for more or less the very identical style to that and go for those guardians. He is cross map position, so I'm not sure it favors. Uh, that as much. I'm not sure how that 
uh, pans out for him, how he wants to navigate with this cross map uh, positions on Nemesis. I'm curious to see he is getting that fourth base on location, like we said. So I want to see uh, how he tries to go forward from here. There it is, that fourth base. So exciting to see, you guys. This is why you have to come over and watch our replay cast as well on the channel. You get some background information. These guys are testing out builds on the ladder that they're planning to use in tournaments like KCM, like ASL. And that's that's kind of where they're developed, right? That's where they're tested. And mm. uh, now we're going to see it in full force here. And how Sharp can react to this. What is he going to do uh, to try and take down this base here? Looks like he's going to go right for the eggs, but unfortunately for him oh no no he's not gonna go for the eggs he's just taking a look over here maybe looking for an overlord i'm not yeah. sure about that but yeah, yeah that's uh definitely wouldn't have enough time to kill those eggs before the muters would eventually get on top of him even though we do see the very delayed muters out of soma he's going for the really fast uh fourth base with economy so making mostly drones here so and it looks like sharp also called his bluff a little bit he, he made some fairly late turrets as well identifying the slightly delayed muters so we'll be getting just bare minimal amount of turrets just barely in the nick of time so sharp has kind of aligned his build fairly nicely with this but i doubt he understands that there's a fourth base at the three o'clock right the second i don't know if he i doubt he's scanned that yet yeah i doubt as well and the scvs have been picked off so uh, efficiently this game that he really hasn't had an opportunity to scout those locations. We got 900 gas in the bank for Soma as he's just continuing to drone up here. His third gas is coming online. His fourth gas will be coming up soon. And that's just going to have so many, so, just so much gas income here to work with that uh, those Guardians are going to come out very, very quickly uh, if that is indeed the plan. He could also go for Ultra here. Either way, uh, would be good. I don't see any Evo chamber though. Mm. I'm feeling. I'm. I'm really feeling a uh, a, a a guardian transition here. I think that's probably going to be the play. I think so. I mean, he, look how many gas he's taking. He's taking all four of the gases. I'm fairly certain it's going to be guardians. If it was going to be ultras, we would have seen an Evo chamber thrown down at least within the last minute or so. I believe so. The fact that he hasn't thrown down an Evo chamber does telegraph guardians really heavily right now. There's that queen's nest at the front. All he needs to do is protect this one area, just the natural area. If he picks off some of these assimilators, which I'm surprised that he hasn't decided to do yet, picking off the assimilators uh, just kind of eliminates the ability for Sharp to break into either of these two locations and forces him to uh, try to ram a bunch of Marines right up this uh, this choke here, this natural area, and that plays right into the hands of. Soma is going to have a ton of Guardians on the high ground, uh, raining down shots on those Marines. So uh, surprising that he's not going to take those out just yet. He's actually going to <laughs> kill this egg. How long does it take an, uh, a single Marine to kill an egg? I, I don't even want to imagine. Um, a few, um, quite a few minutes, say, and I imagine probably <laughs> like a good six or so minutes to kill one egg. Um, one, one thing that is, we should note is that Sharp did scan the natural and the 3 o'clock and now has scanned the 12 o'clock as well. So now uh, Sharp is fully aware of what's going on. He knows oh the my god, coming. second Spire. Yeah. Well, he's going to go double upgrades with gar Greater Spire. Well, do, do you know what I thought he was going to do? I, uh, just a moment ago, I thought he might make a second Spire to morph the 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 great aspire at a different location so that when the main got scanned he wouldn't see the uh, great aspire being morphed i thought that would also be an interesting play as well as getting the access mm. to the double grades i wonder if that was the original plan or not well uh, whether it was the original plan or not sharp has scouted it now he knows that there's gonna be greater mm. there's gonna be greater aspire for sure you're not gonna go uh, double spire and then not get a greater spire. That makes no sense at all. There's a ton of mutilists flying into the main now. He's eaten up two of those uh, irradiates, and this is a lot of turrets, but so many mutilists flying in. It will end up backing away, though, as the science has come down with that irradiate and brings forward some marines as well. There are going to be so many guardians out here in another minute or two. It's crazy. Yeah, he's going to have double upgrades on them as well, so it's going to get really crazy really quickly. I think Sharp um, will identify that he needs to do something soon, so we'll be trying to gain some map control. 
you definitely do want to force the the hand of the Zerg to have to fight out in the open and maybe try and intercept the Guardians from being morphed as much as possible. It is very difficult to do this on this map though with the way the, the island bases are kind of uh, positioned. We do see a hatchery being taken at the um, 9 o'clock location for um, Soma here. So what could be really interesting is if he later on decides to use that as a Nidus Canal um, opportunity to get a defiler down into the bottom left of the map in a sneaky way. He wants to continue on from Guardians uh, into a wow, more standard that's... tech. Yeah, that's really interesting. And diving in here with, I think, two groups of mutas, mm -hmm. or is this just one group of 11? I, I think it might be two, or at least one and a half. Um, yeah, it's two, it's two stacks. I don't know how big both stacks are, but it was more or less two control groups of mutas. And he's going to find some uh, science vessels heading down here, continuing to get it good irradiates, but Soma likewise pulling those out, keeping... The majority of these mutas alive is going to catch a, a nice vessel pick. here. That was a really nice catch. Pull yeah. that. Irradiate out. Oh, oh, God. That was a lot of damage. You're also snagging some of those uh, naked marine kills there. Didn't have any uh, medic support. Uh, has got some scourge hunting and patrolling around for some vessels as well. You need to be really on top of your pathing as Terran here and making sure your vessels aren't flying ahead of your army. And he did make the great aspire at the 12 o'clock to hide it like I thought he might. Yeah, I think that was the original plan all along, to go double grades and also hide the Great Aspire by doing it that way. I really like that play from Soma, it's a nice idea. And a huge amount of Guardians being morphed at the 9 o'clock position, while Sharp moving into the natural of Soma to try and put on some pressure. There is a dropship as well to start elevatoring into the high ground position to put on some pressure and mitigate the sunken force at the front. And ooh, huge Scourge fleet just going to swipe in and take out that dropship anyway, denying any elevator play coming out of sharp it only investing in that one drop ship that i can see thus far so not going to be able to bypass these sunkens for the time being that was super worth for sharp or for for soma excuse me as well uh he has to break through this sunken line now and look at this this is just ridiculous there's so many sunkens mm -hmm. he's building more he's breaking through slowly but th the marine count is thinning out and those uh, uh guardians are coming into the main they're really going to start to wreak havoc here more Sunkins are finishing up. We've got a few uh, Guardians about to pop out here. This is becoming uh, almost upgrade. impossible. Yeah, this is becoming almost impossible for Sharp now. How does he win from here? He's lost almost all of his uh, Marines, and he just has nothing to deal with this Guardian army. He's going to have to bring back a ton of Marines. He's going to have to probably graves. make a bunch of Wraiths as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing He's... he can really do is Cloak Wraiths here and hope that there's no detection nearby. Um that will slow down the onslaught from Soma for the time being, but there has been fairly critical damage done to him already. Soma's done enough that he can also transition into a more normal game here. Ooh, nice vessel snipe and a uh, muter split from that radiate as well. Soma really on top of things here. We do have the first two raves going to be coming in, start dealing damage against these Guardians, but the muter's already here to support, so the raves are going to be shut down until Cloak is done. So now the Guardians have kind of free reign for the time being, getting on top of the Terran production, picking off any Marines that are coming out of these barracks. Only three barracks production as well, so not really many Marines coming out, just a trickle. A few irradiates going to be going down onto these Guardians to soften them up. So we're going to be splitting those off from the force and moving that Guardian forward to get maximum value out of his units. Here comes the cloaked race to finally start doing some real damage on top of these Guardians. Marines coming in to help with that as well. Starting to thin out the crowd, but let's still mute as raining down some glaives onto these Marines and preventing them from getting maximum surface area and damage onto the Guardians. Uh, the Guardians do finally get cleaned up by the race, but I think the damage has already been done uh, so far for Soma. Currently has five bases with this fifth base at the nine o'clock already mining gas. All of his mirrors are getting picked off one at a time by these cloaked raves. So, so far, Sharp is going to see some kind of air superiority, but he's not even mining his main gas right now. He's really struggling. Yeah, no mining on the main gas. He's lost a bunch of barracks. He lost one of his Evo chambers, or his uh, engineering bays as well. Looks like these areas have been killed off. The assimilators there at the top center and the center right have been killed. So... Sharp actually can't break through either of those locations anymore unless he brings some dropships. A bunch more Muta's going to fly in here. There's a lot of irradiate, though, ready for them. And he's going to shove this all back. But that plus two armor really helping out the Mutas to fight here. This is going to be able to fall back now that they've lost some health. Maybe uh, morph some more Guardians as well. It seems like, though, there is a transition with the Evo Chambers finishing mm -hmm. and the Hydralis Den uh, coming out here, it seems that 
uh, Soma is eventually going to switch into some sort of Hydralis play. And now he's actually revealed this base here uh, at the center left. And he's going to maybe lose his Nidus Canal. That's not good. He wants to keep that alive. Start to pop through some units there. Oh, it's going to go down. That's actually a really huge pickup from Sharp now because he can just start gunning down these eggs and make his way into the nine o'clock uncontested. It'll take a long time to warp in another um, uh, Nidus Canal there. He has got all the other bases linked up with Nidus Canals, but not this nine o'clock base. He's desperately trying to throw down Sunkens to try and hold this position, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. There's two science vessels and about two control groups and Marines with a few medics. There is Sunkens barely morphing in time. If there's D-Matrix D -matrix energy, though, it's going to be really hard for these Sunkens to hold on. So far, Sharp going to be moving into position, start gunning down the Sunkens. Already finished. There is a, a Hydra and some mutas to help um, help out a little bit, and the rest of the Sunkens are actually going to finish up before he can start doing critical damage to those Sunkens. So actually going to hold on to this position at the nine o'clock for the time being, and also going to morph in some guardians here yeah with the morphing of the guardians as well this place becomes absolutely unbreakable uh it, it's amazing that soma has been able to get away with this many bases with five bases and only producing two sunken lines uh going guardian it's it really speaks to the map and the layout the structure here that he's a been able to do that to get away with that low level of defense uh, and such a high amount of gas now he's switching into the most uh, cost efficient strategy here uh, that you can possibly imagine for zerg hydralisk defiler uh, that's going to be coming out on mass here very soon with a thousand minerals in the bank a thousand gas he can make so many units and really start to flood the map with those Hydralis. And I don't know if Sharp can hold on. The only be uh, benefit he has right now, the only advantage I feel, is uh, the the earlier upgrades here. Because Soma was focusing on the air upgrades for so long, mm -hmm. uh, his, his ground grades aren't going to be nearly as uh, on time as they would be regularly if you're just going straight up into a Hydralis play. It's very true. One thing that um, will supplement that a little bit is that Soma did kill the engineering bay before the upgrade could finish. So he did slow down the upgrades of the turn a little bit, but he is still going to be behind on the uh, upgrade curve on the infantry. So it's definitely something to consider. He will be having such a huge, powerful army, though, in terms of how sheer quantity of units. So even though he's not got the Carapace upgrade yet, he still has just a crap ton of units. Lots of Hydralisk with upgrades and Lurkers moving down to the southeast threshold. They might get Savage from both sides there. Radiate's going down on those Lurkers while the Hydra's trying to take uh, the high ground away from the Marines and get on top of them and start mowing them down. There's only one Medic here, so there's not really a lot of healing, so we can focus down a lot of these Marines, and the Lurkers going to be coming in to help make short work of that, but wasn't able to break the position completely, so so far Sharp going to be hanging on to this three-base uh, economy for the time being while also taking the six o'clock to try and replace the mined out bases in his natural and main soon. So he's hanging on in the game thus far, but now with Defilers coming out and this huge Nidus Canal network that's established on this map already, like Soma, Soma's actually can launch a, an assault into the main base with Defilers now that, um, wait, can Defilers fit through uh, with one gas being killed or not? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Um, they may not be able to. That might be that true. That will be very important here in this game, kind of uh, surprisingly. I don't think that's uh, something that we see very often, but it uh, could be a major factor here. And Sharp's taking a lot of bases. He's taking six. He's taking the bottom right. And shutting down that first move out from Soma, actually a really, really big, important moment. Uh, and it, this next attack, it looks like it's going to be even less successful, I think. Actually, hold on. A lot of the Lurkers getting burrowed underground, and they managed to get their volleys off. So Sharp not pulling back in time. He's losing ooh, a lot of his ooh. vessels as well. Uh-oh. Sharp's thing starting he's got to fall apart a little bit. Yeah, the one thing he's got going for him is that he had quite a sizable fleet of vessels, and it wasn't yet plagues to worry about. So he had that going for him for the time being, but now has had this vessel count thinned out a little bit. I think there's like five or six vessels running. Another one going going down as well, so definitely not going to be good for him in this position. There is some Marines coming from behind to try and help get this um, Hydras out of the way, but he's getting on top of all of the vessels and the bunkers before they can even finish, so it looks like it, he will be breaking this position open. I think that's going to be it for Sharp, at least for the uh, time being, unless he can clear up this force right now. He needs to defend this base desperately. <laughs> it looks like there's loads of Lurkers morphing in front of his face while the Defiler tries to come down. Doesn't get in range to cast a Dark Swarm on those eggs, though. If he was able to get a Dark Swarm off on those eggs, that would have been catastrophic for Sharp to have to deal with those Lurker eggs, not even be able to be taking damage while morphing in. And then after they finish morphing in, mowing down everything in sight, 
A few of those eggs might go down and prevent the lurkers from being morphed, but the majority of them will be coming out of those eggs and burrowing right on top of him. And as Soma streams down units, and here comes the burrow, and the bunker going to be targetified instantly pops as well. The marines from the left side not going to be able to do enough DPS to take out all the lurkers in time just before they get, um, getting killed. He is going to slowly clear up the rest of the, the lurkers with the remaining bunkers, but so far... Um, Soma's able to trade at a cost deficit because he's so far ahead in the economy so it doesn't really matter that he's taking these like slightly inefficient trades as long as you're just keeping Sharp's army small and preventing him from having any kind of map control that's going to be king for him to slowly turn this game around in terms of getting his upgrades out and preventing Sharp from utilizing those advantages he had previously with the huge vessel count and upgrades but he's on 3-2 upgrades right now so for the time being is in a very strong position those marines are very strong special forces marines until Soma catches up but he's already on 2-2 on his hydras so it won't be long now before Soma will also eclipse him in upgrades as well as production yeah I'm a little bit worried for Soma that he hasn't grown into the top left just yet he needs to send a group of hydra over there to, to kind of clear that up but he was so close to actually just beating Sharp straight up there in that last engagement. I can understand the 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 difficulty of, you know, micring all of that and then also trying to think about the the future as well. He kills the last couple of vessels. Wow. Dealing with those two units is incredibly important. Uh, incredibly impactful here. He's gonna send a drone finally up to the top left and actually start to take those locations. Sharp is still hanging on here. He's still got bottom right, which is gonna give him uh, a lot of longevity here in this game, but now without any, uh, without without any science vessels and without any wraiths, do you think a tech switch back into guardians could be good? I feel like uh, the high ground above this is so vulnerable. Yeah, he could definitely um, utilize a few guardians, but the problem is, is like you said, because he didn't grow any, he didn't really um, gain any additional gas. So because of that, he hasn't really got enough gas free to do that. He could start cutting in his lurkers and scourge and defilers, but he doesn't really want to have to um, do that. So it's kind of a weird position for Soma to be in. He's got such a great position now identifying that he needs to expand and grow just a little bit more to get a little bit more access to gas especially with now sharp going to be securing this base in the bottom right he's going to have access to the, the other bottom right base main for free so there's a lot more gas going to be coming online for sharp as well so so we're going to do his best to keep up with it the one thing that we can say is that soma did take both of these side bases so did get the prerequisite one base ahead of the terran for the late game phase so he has that going for him at least um, in terms of longevity, but like you said, it could this game could turn around shortly if uh, Sharp can make some plays. Is gonna be moving out onto the map with his force now, and the defilers are quite weak in the middle. But looks like a little counter attack in the main base for Soma right now. He's gonna deny another upgrade here. Huge, huge denying that upgrade, stopping plus three armor from going down. Uh, Hydras here are gonna have three three very very soon. He's fighting for high ground at, against this really massive force. Finally does get a Dark Swarm down. The Marines are just going to run through, though. Sharp trying desperately to get up here and actually deny this base while a bunch of action is going on down in his main. Does get on top of these with the uh, Fire Bats here and actually will crack that location. So he may be able to stop one of these bases from going down, but I think with the Hydras following this up and the Plagued Marines and Fire Bats, they should be getting picked off here relatively soon. The drop play is fantastic from Soma right now, dropping defilers and hydras into the main it's just such a pain in the ass yeah this 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 unit composition from zerg is just so cost efficient the hydras the defilers it's just really hard for terran to deal with and the usually the thing that's going for terran is that they have these really cost efficient marines and the zerg's kind of taking that advantage away from them by throwing their own cost efficient variation up against it and able to take out these vessels so easily with the hydras and if they're plagued even more easily so it seems like really hard position for, uh, for Sharp to have to deal with. He is doing a good job of getting up here into this top left. Might be getting the kill on this hatchery as well. Uh, needs to be careful not to use that dropship. A huge flood of units from Soma, though, going to be coming up into this northwest quadrant and clean up the majority of the units. But hopefully, if Sharp can, though, he might be able to get into this top left side and kill these drones and maybe this hatchery too. He is trying to desperately do that, gunning down all the drones that he can. I don't think he's going to get the hatchery, but at the very least, he might get these drones. If he shimmies up his marines, maybe he can get this hatchery just barely, but I don't think he's going to be able to quite get it. These are plus three marines. They deal a lot of DBS, but he's not right-clicking hatchery. He's just going to fight with the hydras. Wow, he's actually winning this fight. And there's no uh, it's pretty good. zergling speed in this game yet. No zergling speed means that those zerglings are not really helping out much. A battle cruiser's coming out here as well. He's mining in the bottom right, and Soma has not 
been able to clear this out yet. This is getting kind of crazy. Is Sharp going to be able to pull this one out? Well, Battle Cruisers are now operational, saying, I mean, anything's possible. If he starts getting these BCs on top of the gas production of um, Soma, like denying the gas being mined at nine o'clock, for example, like this could be huge. Slightly siphoning off the gas from Soma could be just what he needs to flip flip the game on its head. And he has taken out these bases in the top left, denying that additional gas from being mined. So if he does also shut down the gas mining in the nine o'clock base and some of these other locations, that's going to really reduce the ability for Soma to produce some of these key gas heavy units that he needs to keep fighting sharp. Although there's a huge Zerg force in the southeast now going to be moving in. There's only two bunkers and a handful of Marines. This looks pretty dicey for Sharp. He's going to be sending the re remaining of his forces to try and reinforce the position, but both bunkers are probably going to go down in short order. There's a few lurkers here to help mow down any of the Marines that show up from behind as well. So Soma, at the very least, going to be clearing off a lot of this bio force and reducing the army count of Sharp. But I think Sharp... Um, is still in a position where he could hold on here. He has got another bunker at the bottom of the ramp in the bottom right, which is a beautiful play from him to shut down um, Soma being able to get in to the mineral line in the main base in the bottom right and prevent the, prevent um, any further damage to his economy there. And the BC is going to be picking off the Nidus Canal at the 9 o'clock as well, shutting down any reinforcements from coming down there to help out. So it might be able to get the gas away from Soma down there. Time remains to be seen. Whether or not that will transpire. So far, Sharp has 2,000 gas in the bank and Soma is just barely getting a trickle right now. So this could be Sharp's game to turn around here, I think. Coming up to the top left-hand side, there's only one lurker here and the Nidus is not Ooh. finished. He really needs to send more reinforcements through here. A defiler would be a massive... Yeah, just one sunken colony, two hydras and a single... No, there's actually a stack of lurkers, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough. He guns them down really, really quick. Shoots down every single Hydra here, and he's going to kill the Nidus once again, shutting down the mining from Soma. But the mining is likewise shut down here in the bottom right. Sharp not able to do anything with this, uh, with this base down here. And, you know, Soma is still mining over in the center left. So I don't know where we're at in this game. This is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. Sharp does have some bank gas, but because he's not mining many minerals right now, this is kind of a weird position. One thing I found really interesting was that Sharp did the thing where he only mined out one side of his six o'clock so that he can then mine out the second side. So he is still mining minerals at the six o'clock from the right hand side for the time being. So he has got a little bit of a trickle coming in uh, to help uh, spend that gas. But right now, needs to be making sure that all of his units and infantry out in the middle of the map get um, as much cost efficiency as they can because he won't be able to get many more Marines at this phase in the game. He needs to use these units to secure these bases in the bottom right again and get back to mining. And if he can, also denying any additional bases from being set up from Soma. Soma doesn't even have enough money to set up another base right now, saying he's barely mining at 9 o'clock too. I think waiting for that Nidus to come online to start transferring drones around. It's a really, really weird situation we have right now. 27 minutes in we still don't have ling speed that is just a crazy, <laughs> crazy crazy fact um of this game which has been really back and forth the entire time looks like sharp gonna set up the base in the bottom right he's been denied from six o'clock he's gonna get a base going though in the bottom right his army supply is pretty good and this is a very large uh marine force that's moving through the middle of the map but one good plague could absolutely turn the tides here. Mm -hmm. It's just up to Soma to get that. And he's actually sending a bunch of Hydras down here to the bottom left. He doesn't have mistake. defiler support. This, this is, is going to get surrounded. He's going to lose these Hydras. Oh no, saying this could be lights out for Soma. He's going to lose all these Hydras and he's not got much supply behind this and he's barely mining right now. He, he will struggle to secure an expansion without the infantry to prevent it being sniped. So I don't know how Soma's going to navigate his way around here he's got a few skirmishing drop plays trying to delay the terran as much as possible and deny mining in the bottom right but that's being dealt with right now we have the matrix marines to clear that up so it's gonna be really really hot really challenging for soma to navigate his way from this position i feel and it kind of sharp has free reign on the map even though he's not mining right now gg is called from soma gg wow what a game what a series. What a week of KCM. He gets the clapper. Very, very impressive stuff there from both players. Soma played an excellent, excellent game. Uh, Sharp likewise holding on and, you know, just gutting it out with that SK Terran style. You can see why it is so powerful. Even on a map where the Zerg player is able to get that many bases up and uh, go into such an insane... 
amount of Guardian. SK Terran, it handles everything so incredibly well and sharp. He pulls it out in the end, takes out our final Zerg player, and wins this week KCM. I, I'm just going to... I'm going to go ahead and grab the screen, grab the... Uh, yeah. Called the, the score screen, and then we'll... Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Man, that map looks so hard for ZVT when the Terran is playing well. Nuts, dude. Nuts. What an insane game. I really thought it's almost going to take that one away, dude. I, I was suspicious of it from the start. No, not from the start, but like from when the Guardian started assaulting him and I saw the, the Cloak Wraith switch. I was kind of feeling like this is actually hard for Zerg to close out the game if the, the Terran's being cost efficient enough with his Wraiths and Vessels. We never really yeah, got like the, the money plague that we needed. Like we needed to like plague the entire vessel fleet and just take it all out in one go. We didn't. We were whittling down the vessels a lot, but we weren't really dealing with it as efficiently as we needed to. I feel like that attack down into the bottom right, uh, if if he had at simultaneously taken the top left and secured that, you know, instead of like committing so much to yeah. that bottom right and just like trying to kill it and trying to kill it and trying to kill it and mm -hmm. not actually killing it. Um that would have been fine if he had also secured the top left at the same time. But then it was like a, an afterthought, like, oh shit, I better secure Yeah, he kind of like set his money. win yeah, he set his win condition on killing that natural in the bottom right and just bust open that position and kill him that way. But because he was unsuccessful in that, yeah, it kind of lost him the game big time. Uh, I thought he was he was in such a good position when uh, Sharp tried to dive into his natural and lost like an insane amount of Marines to just sunken. That was, yeah, that yeah, was, it, like, it, it, it it looks perfect. like a, exactly. It looks really good from there. I, I, the, yeah, but look, the problem is, is that he was a bit behind in grades as well. It took a long time for him to start to catch up in upgrades as well. So he was mm -hmm. fighting a bit of an in, a bit of a deficit for a while. I feel like that's the reason why he should have, you know, focused on getting more of the the top left of the map first yeah. before trying to end the game because his grades were so far behind. And if he like, needs to, he can keep pressuring the natural with guardians and stuff over time. Right, and focus on, uh, you know, sending things through from the from the center left. Mm -hmm. He can still run hydras between one, uh, uh, one destroyed. Uh, assimilator and then you have something to support your guardians like he should have had he had so much money he should have had overlord speed and like yeah. hydras with that attack that would have been so much more effective man so much more effective. we well, got a nidus up there there's no reason why he couldn't have rallied down hydras down to that nine o'clock and reinforced with hydra guardian and had some overlord speed down there to just clear everything up yeah, let's 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 talk more about it here once we pull this up. Oh, did you listen to last week KCM the the ending, the music? Oh, did you yeah you use the uh, music thing? Yeah, I used the music that you yeah. that you recommended. Nice. You yeah, it? yeah, I, I, I did see it. it was good. I'm gonna use it again this this time. So, okay. Look at that flatline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately for the Zerg chisel, did not go so well. All right, week five is at an end. Here are your point rankings. Protoss, a completely flat line, continues to be the trend here with Terran and Zerg uh, going back and forth, winning and losing over and over again with now Terran in the lead by just one point. We'll see who ends up uh, you know, getting ahead in the final weeks here of KCM that's coming up. 
very, very soon, guys. I want to talk a little bit more with you, Shin, about that last game. That was an insane one. Oh, it was a crazy game. I was really surprised that we didn't see more of a committal to the Guardians in the bottom left with some overload speed and maybe a Hydra reinforcement by the Nidus Canal. And he seemed like he set his wing condition really far too heavily on breaking that natural in the bottom right quadrant and um, not really expanding behind it. And he was behind in upgrades that entire time as well. So it's a bit unfortunate position for him there. Yeah, it, it seemed a little bit um, haphazard the way that he decided to attack the main. Uh, you're Generally, you want to have some anti-air there because it's pretty predictable that your opponent is going to go into to Cloak Wraiths. It's just it's what you do. If you see it, Guardians attacking you, building a couple of Wraiths is it's fantastic defense. Mm -hmm. So um, not predicting that. You know, having the Nidus in the center left and not utilizing that to bring up Hydras, not getting Overlord speed, all of those were, I think, in my opinion, mistakes that could have been easily remedied and maybe would have ended up with him winning that game, taking out the main base of the Terran, just shutting down that uh, production there is insanely valuable. It's really lucky, or maybe it's not luck, I don't know. Uh, maybe that was all planned for Sharp actually having his uh, starports tucked away down in the bottom part of the main base. Because if he had his, imagine if mm -hmm. he had his starports up in the yeah, top for left, sure. For sure. those right. would have died immediately and then he would have been in such a bad spot. Generally speaking, as Terran, uh, the way you lay out your bases is the depots are like off to the side to get out the way and you, you tuck in all of your tech buildings as deep in your base as possible, not only to protect them from muter arrests of like, say the, the SUV that's building the science facility, like they can't slow down the science facility as easily, but also later on in the game, it does prevent them from getting on top of your production. Like say the Guardian's just mowing down your starports while you're trying to build Valkyries or Wraiths. And like you say. Yeah, smart moves there by Sharp. Also, yeah, the attack down into the bottom right, it felt a little bit uh, premature. Uh, because the upgrades were so far behind and, you know, he had such a, a massive production uh, engine going behind him. Why not secure a couple more bases and just wait for those upgrades to come online before really taking the Terran uh, to task there? But it is what it is. I think that uh, Soma was not interested in t going into a really late game with Terran holding the entire bottom side of the map. I don't think that was... Uh, part of his game plan there but uh, he really broke the bank trying to break that bottom right and ran out of minerals there a little bit too soon unfortunate result for the zergs unfortunately we're not going to get to see a final game i'll have to put a anti-spoiler here at the end i'll just throw another game uh up going backwards here uh, just after this score screen so don't be confused if you see that it's just so that nobody looks at the, the time uh, of the video and gets uh, spoiled for the results. So that's it for today, guys. Any last words, Shun? Um, no, thanks for having me, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, great games and uh, enjoyable cast, I'm sure. Cool. Yeah, and make sure to check out Shun's uh, live stream now on YouTube. I'll put the link down below. You can watch him play some ladder games. You can watch him do some coaching. I'm sometimes in there just messing around, maybe playing some ums games or uh, whatever we're, we're up to this week. Definitely check it out. I'll see you guys in the next cast. Okay. I think that was good. That was much better than last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our, our final statements there last week. Yeah, way so. better. Way better. <laughs> We didn't uh, talk, or we didn't think of a final game. No, but we did discuss some of the final game's points before going into it, and so we mm -hmm. had we had something to talk about, which is always going to be a plus, as long as we've got like one main topic to both talk about initially, and then we can do closing thoughts and wrap up. Sure. Yeah. That... At least that is enough of a structure for an outro. Yeah. Felt good. So yeah. good. Okay, I will start the editing process.
Nice. Prayer assistance. Always a pleasure. Happy to help. Is this week five or week? Yeah, this is week five, right? Yeah, it's yeah. week five. I wrote down week. Okay. Too hard. I'm going to save this uh, game number six. <laughs> that massive mind drag. That was, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Who do we have on that? Let's go with what? I'll hit one back. So you had like a few seconds of choppy on the other recording? Hmm? You said earlier you only had like a few seconds of choppiness at the start. Yeah. But I, I did it so that before we started talking, I started the recording for like... I started the recording, waited about like 10 seconds and started talking, so... That's what I always do because sometimes there's like visual glitches when I start mm. recording. That's that's another thing that I'll I think is gonna be like way better. Once you get the new room rig kind of thing, yeah, for sure. New rig and it'll be like uh, infinitely better. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a huge improvement for you. We'll just do a fun little UMS while we chill. Good to go, sir. SCB, good to go, sir. The hydras. Job's finished. <laughs> I don't make medics. Can I make minutes? Job's finished. Oh, there you go. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Job's finished. Not 
Vessels are a long way away. Oh, it comes out. Not enough minerals. Played around this map before, so I'm sure. Not enough minerals. Oh, there we go. I guess new vessels. Okay. So now we can get gas. Got enough to kill the lurkers and mm. a little bit of an issue. Guess we have to go gas, we can't just stay unit forever. It's gonna break this either way. Nukes could be a good option. Nuclear missile ready. on right now so let's get gas or the matrix eventually we don't have to necessarily upgrade the vessels for a while wonder if the energy is like bad oh it's gonna feel so good having a better computer god oh yeah i bet man maybe like a nine day difference for you Some tanks and start banking tanks. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Add on complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Research complete. Hmm. Okay. Max six. So pretty OP, I guess. Complete. Yeah, you gotta make up by force a bit beefier. Oh, the last little bit of my road rash is finally torn off. Yeah. Nice. Thank God. Not enough minerals. Add on complete. You gonna play some ums or something when you're done with the edit? Yeah, sure. This will be such a faster process.
max eight two plus. Okay. That should be good enough. I think it should break this eventually. I think did it two units I need to get the next guess. Okay, and lots of lanes. Got this solo. some Valkyries and this will help Trickle as well because the Valkyries will fly ahead and like Trickle as units back a bit might help a little bit
complete. Okay. So much dark for him. Not yet breaking it though. Getting close. Getting close to getting on top of it, but it's not doing much damage to it. Finish. Job finished. 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 Job finished.
Not enough minerals. Damn, man, getting crushed. I think it's BC. I'm just dark swarm. Much dark tool is nuts. Just getting heavy to barrels. Okay. Finish. 
Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. <laughs> Oh wait, can we make nukes? Probably not, right? Yeah, we're talking about. Add-on complete. Add-on complete. Not enough minerals. I just noticed right at the end that this guy didn't put on unit limit extension, so my Valkyries weren't even shooting. <laughs> it's pretty good. Someone has extended unit limits. Ah. So how is he now? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's have some fun. Play them all. It is pretty shitty.
Are you getting on soon? There is a Just sit. Just sit guys? Where, he, where he is. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Uh, watching yeah, launch and shrugging our shoulders at Mr. Snibbles. Oh, we got a we got a bitch ass probe. Okay. Why are you irradiating a fucking overlord? There is absolutely no point. What do you mean? There's a point. Kill the overlord. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch. Where are the cows? The cows should be here. What's this? 20 minute game and no cows? The Zerg's probably got like 40 hatcheries. Uh, what am I looking at here? Uh, are you watching Mr. Snibbles? No, I'm trying to play a game. Oh. I don't know what he's doing. Ah, uh, gateways. He's gone yeah. to the beach. Yeah. Zealots. He's gone to the beach. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's at the beach. There's one, one gateway. gateway, though. Singular. Actually, fuck you, dude. I'm just going to go up here. Get out of my game, you slag. <clears throat> well, that's kind of greedy on my part. As long as he doesn't block the ramp, he should be okay, oh, I think. You got him, dude. You got him. Kill the pylon. I think you should make third hatch. Oh, the cows are out. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Dying with 6,000 minerals in the bank is sad.
Ah, you fuck. Well, I'm an idiot. We took a third.
Oh, I need to change my. I need to change the stream title. Who's launch playing against? Some random Korean who's just fucking blasting me. Fuck, he's not even mining? I don't understand what this guy's doing. He's got he's just literally taking every base. Oh what a fucking prick. Man, 
me or sub chisel so no music and you haven't been taken down today maybe that's what it was that he turns on music <laughs> that's really weird that you said that because i actually didn't see that you'd wrote that that's kind of bizarre chisel because so i didn't read that you'd you wrote that and said when i did the music um yeah uh i'm gonna just be careful with the playlist more that i put on um if if anything does get flagged i'll just not use that playlist again and i'll be a bit more careful about which uh copyright free playlist we use then we should be okay as long as we're being careful about the playlists because i guess another issue was if i if if it's on autoplay i should turn off autoplay as well because if it loads up another playlist afterwards that isn't uh copyright free that could be an issue like say this playlist is three hours long but after three hours i'm not going to notice it switch on to the next playlist and it might not it might be a lo-fi cop uh lo-fi playlist but it might not be copyright free or at least one of the tracks might not be so yeah hopefully we'll be good for now <laughs> currently watching irk launch up against a korean pros he seems to be absolutely devastating him slowly creeping away up to four bases Seems like he has locked us out of the, a lot of the map though, so these uh, four bases are going to have to really count. Maybe launch can uh, turn into a late game scenario with lots of cracklings, maybe he can make something work. Slowly get maxed out a little bit while getting grades, but it looks like the pros will be putting on some pressure on this lurker field outside the natural. Maybe going in to try and kill as much of this Zerg army as possible. Yeah, it's just a lot for him to deal with right now. It's gonna be rough. Getting some surface area with the lings. We have a defiler out. Can't yet utilize the defiler, however. Might get decent amount of these dragoons it's pretty close just barely not got enough to smash through these dragoons dark swarm will now be coming down to hold this position so he will hang on for the time being at least can maybe start pushing him out further in some ground korean being quite active with his dragoons out on the map though mitigating a lot of the value of this Dark Swarm, playing a bit like a TVZ. So I put his game sound on. GG. That was not a GG, my friends. <laughs> Korean took you to task there, it seems. He joined the channel uh, like 17. I, I lost at like minute 5. <laughs> I let 5 zealots kill my natural. Mm. What's with the X17 channel, huh? You want to talk about that? It's just my mental state right now. <laughs> you got a problem with that? I just find it funny. I'm actually behaving today. I only called one Korean a cunt. Only one? Wow. Only one. I'm, be I'm doing okay. Are you getting smurfed, do you feel like? Or what do you no, think? No, no, no. I honestly feel like I never get smurfed. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Maybe B rank is just a level that's just, I don't know, where everyone can masquerade as whatever they want to be <laughs> but yeah i don't i don't feel like i see a lot of smurfs mm. i feel like you're at a point where like there's not that many people that can really smurf yeah that's true like you have to be a really high mmr to smurf. yeah like i can go smurf i could go smurf in e-rank you know but like there's not so not many people that are like so good true. the higher rank smurfs. the higher rank you get the less smurfs there are in a sense 
I think also if you're not looking for them, the less you will see. I think some people think everyone's a Smurf. <laughs> not that, not very good. I feel like I've only played like a handful of like actual real Smurfs. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Anytime I feel like I play a Smurf, I go to Seawall and I check their stats, and it's like, oh, that wasn't a Smurf. Oh my God, bottom drone. What's he? Do? Come on, drone. There you go. Thank you. So you have to press C even if you have it aligned mostly properly. Uh no. No, he was just using C to realign it to be more vertical. Because if you push C when it's on the vertical line, it will then reset to the vertical line. Gotcha. Rather than like going off to the side constantly. Well, this was not an optimal split. But what can you do? Split bear. <laughs> yeah, got a lot better at it, but the occasional game gets away from me. It happens. So, um, do you know if there's a good uh, split practice map? Uh, there is a map where it's just splitting over and over again. There's also a fun split map where it's like a tug of war map where you only get the minerals that you can get from one cycle of mining. So you have to split to get all four minerals to like maximize your income and then you buy units with the with those splitted minerals and you fight against the other guy kind of thing. So it's like a 1v1 UMS tug of war split map. There's, there's also another one which just like keeps splitting over and over again. I can find them for you if you want. Yeah, if you have it. I remember having that one, but I can't find it. I mean, I think it's not great because it's also like weird minerals. Mm. Like it's not like oh, standard man. maps or anything. What the fuck am I playing against? One base. What do I, what do I do? He's on one base and he seems to be making tech. I don't think there's a name for this build. Uh, am I just staying on two base? And getting tech myself? That's up to you. That's what I would do. What MMR okay. are you? He, uh, I, oh, was he dog shit? I forget. Well, we, we don't have that. Well, he's we not know MMR. He's doing one base tech, but, um. I have gotten destroyed by one base reaver before, so let's hold your horses, my friend. <laughs> watch, watch what's about to happen. Make sure there's not like a hidden one somewhere. I've had that happen. Take before. a third hatchery wherever you feel like and make Hydra. Okay. I can find the versus worker split map, but I can't find the other split map. I don't know if it's got a Korean name or something. Eh, uh, don't worry about it then. I don't really need that one. Was that a zealot or a probe out on the map? Probe. probe. Okay. I don't normally like lair against this. Yeah, he could be going really fast there. So it's good to get hydras. Pretty oh, early. Oh, fuck! I got too many maps to go through to find it. There's the fast Sarah. It'd be a DT follow up to this. Mm. So I have to make another I mean, over, overlord yeah. in my main. 
I got on the Shit. left side, at least it's not a scout. The sad boy is. Yeah, just gotta get fast hiders against this, and you're fine. He broke. Wow, well, he probably won't break that. I wouldn't try. Vermin, have we run into another situation of just not knowing the flow shot? Not knowing the what? The flow shot? Yeah, I got no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Damn Zerg, gonna know what slightly different thing to do for every possible thing Protoss can do. Hate these A masters. I can't be a hater. I don't I don't know dick about flow charts, man. I just see tech and I'm like, oh well, can't have Spire in time for that. Make Hydra. What should my uh, plan be? Don't need to overcomplicate things. I feel like I'm just droning right now. I mean, you, that means you know part of the flow shot, right? Yeah. I think you get one patch, not mining in your I'm main. I think the second patch is mining two drones. You need one drone on the bottom patch on the left. Yeah, that right one. There. Yeah. Danger, you do have to realize, like, half the things I say when I talk to you are just me trying to segue into calling you a nerd. Okay. Yeah, bust out the flow charts, Nagna. Get nerdy on us. I, I thought they were they were always leading up to saying, "Well, you could play that way." <laughs> no, no, that's that's not when I'm talking. That's when you're talking, and I respond. <laughs> yeah, DT. You probably want to layer at some point. Yeah, I need a layer to be able to move out. He went DT. I mean, you he could slow up. truck overlords across the map and escort them, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> you already have one at your third, though, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Might better sneak out the expansion. Is Proto still on one base? He's taking an expansion right now. He was on one base, yeah, he's about to take it. Probably, anyway, we can assume. We shouldn't assume, though, we should probably check. Problem is, is that it's hard to get the confirmation when there's DTs and no overlords. I mean, if they were remaining on one base, we probably would have been hit by the all in by now. Probably. About eight minutes, yeah. Definitely would have seen it by now. Or seen something, yeah. I can just keep him busy while I uh, take a third. I mean, you there can they see are. Up, but this happens. You could run one hydro past the DT to like check the natural, see what's up. See yeah, if you really feel the need to scout and you're not certain. See what kind of unit composition he's building as well. See if he's going into goons or not, kind of thing. You want you want lurkers at least. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to attack him anytime soon. <laughs> Just going to macro up against this. See if we can make those cannons go to waste. Try and make those cannons go to waste by just macroing up hard. Try to make those cannons go to waste by killing them with hydralisks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting phased right now? Uh, what should I do? Like just, trees. I would say just uh, get up to a luck contain and uh, take a four. Macro up. I would also scout other bases when you had the chance. Yeah, hundred percent scout probably bases. You got a speed every snake. Could send an overlord around the map. I do. Nice. Okay. You didn't have that many says, so it's not too dangerous to scout around the map for movies, so... But literally check every base, because, like, paralysis can be really sneaky and just take weird ninja expansion sometimes.
We've also only seen one sand, so I'd be inclined to go meet, beat him up with, with your lusks. You can put that Ling on patrol to his third at the top left. It'll check all three bases for you. Let's put his patrol there, yeah. Oh, fuck off, Corsair. And get a sixth hatch and third guess. It's okay, you have OB speed. It's gonna take ten years to kill one overlord with one Sarah. Drone up your third a bit. We only want to fight him if he tries to move out to expand. We don't really want to obviously engage him for a while besides right. trying to take a contain. So we get the lurkers out, we'll go see if we can set up a contain. Oh look, mini map. Don't fight him until you have your lurkers. If you get opportunity to skirmish, you can. You see if you can bait out a storm, but other than that, do not engage him. Okay. He's got like pure zealot high templar right now, so we need value out of our lurkers. We can kind of counter that composition a little bit. If you can bait out some storms, then we're, we're in the money as well. Please stop mining the third guess, please. Yeah, mine the third guess. Okay. Dude, stop with the sairs already, man. Yeah. One, one, pair, one pair of scourge will fix that. Hey, Alternatively, one control group of mutas will fix that. <laughs> Never mind, yes. Dark Archon, don't make muta. <laughs> yeah. But Protoss' goal is to around. skirmish you with storms, to pick off your hydras for free, but if you keep baiting out the storms, then you'll you're like countering him really hard. So if you stay active with your Hydra and like keep baiting out storms here and there, it'll really whittle down his power. Ooh, that's a nice pick. Yeah, fuck off, sir. That's right, clearing some zealots for free and shit. It's all good. Ooh, no. Always run out of the storm, not through the storm. Thanks, coach. <laughs> You're welcome, Nagma. Okay. Damn, if only we had units. Also, when you're going to pick off High Templar, you don't need a full control group of Hydras. Yeah, like literally like seven or so, it's fine. Yeah, seven's a good number. Okay. Get attack. Get attack first. I have attack. Oh, get a plus two attack first? Yes, plus two is way more important than Carapace. Yeah, always. Yeah, because oh, you're, you're behind him in Carapace, so you... You won't scale well, but the, the attack will scale I'm well. I'm going to give you a take and, and say that Carapace is not even really that important in the whole matchup. It's not a bad take, Nagna. A lot of the time I play Hive, I sometimes just get melee and attack only. Yeah, I'm considering doing that, but getting the melee really early. Mm -hmm. So you get really fast plus two cracklings. Yeah, and just, just soak up the fact that you're not going to be ahead in Carapace this way. just go around this guy? Like, what the fuck is he doing? I feel like there are many solutions to this uh, non-problem. Oh, this is not a solution. That is a problem. <laughs> this is a, is, you're in the, is, you do not want to be here. Just split your stuff up. This... Just split your stuff up. You just need to spread. Just yeah, spread, spread out first. So you don't want to be in that one tight choke. That's all you need to do. The, the place the Protoss wants to be is behind the other side of that pond, close to your third. So as long as you keep him in this kill zone here, you're fine. Yeah, Vermin, there's many solutions to the problem of the of the upgrade uh, problem for Hive, but there's only mm. one solution f for Hydras at LaTeX, you must get plus two attack. <laughs> yeah, no, I was referring to the going around the army. Oh. But, um, yeah, that's for the Carapace during the game. Trying to I'm catch up with plus that. three, it's like, because uh, that's really the only time it's like big value. You're trying to catch up with plus three. It, it's impossible to catch up with plus three unless you like start it, unless you do yeah, an it entirely takes, different opening. Yeah, it, it takes a really long time 
and by the time you're even at the point where you would be catching up, like, it doesn't really matter anymore. You should have enough that he doesn't really want that many zealots anyway. So yeah, it's not it's not the zealots that's killing you by then. Yeah, yeah. So I would say I mostly agree. And I, was, I think I said to a tent the other day that the, the latest Soma guide. He was, he was just doing the, the, the forbidden build of Scourge into Five Hatch Hydra. Uh huh. And he, and he won he won the game when you're still on one carapace. <laughs> by just by like do the box ending phase. For one carapace. <laughs> Wait, why is it called the forbidden yeah. build? V versus plus three attack, like one carapace, and it didn't matter. Yeah, easy. Wait, why is it called the forbidden build? Because I'm always going on how. And others are always going on about how it's a terrible build. Oh, right. Nagmar's not a fan. Ne neither is Soma. I'm not a big fan of it either, if I'm being honest. Thanks for the help, guys. I gotta go. Alright, man, take it easy. See ya. Yeah, I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping. I'll be on later. All right, man. See you. Now we need to plug our phone in. Silent Storm playing some Terran. Go back one second, guys. I'm just gonna go check what I've got to eat in the kitchen. May have to order something if I don't have enough food. <laughs> Alright, so we probably may have to order something. So we haven't got a huge amount in. Who else is going to stream? Okay, we're gonna be taking a very fast bird. And going into Okay, so we're prioritizing Economy and army, heavy factory count, plus third. Just a single armory for the plus one. It's 
pretty strong way of playing Terran. You feel a bit later tech and later vessels and later grades and all that stuff, but you have got a lot of units and the focus pretty heavy on this economy. Good way of countering the fast third star from the Kronos, but it does leave you open to a bit of a bulldog as a follow up. Could go Goliath tank a little bit to counteract the potential speed shell plays from the Kronos, but it can be tricky. Plus one armor can be stunning, so we're going to be going into 1 1 as well. Hmm. I didn't see this entire game, so it's hard to know the exact game state right now, but. Say if the Terran can stop himself getting supply blocked, this could be looking pretty good. Problem is, is that he's got pretty low supply and he keeps getting deeper blocked. Yeah, he's starting to realize that he needs to place multiple depots at a time. It's really hurting him not being able to produce units right now though, because if the Prowse player was going for a Bulldog, it makes him all the more weaker and easier to crack, and also delays his strength of his push by not being able to constantly churn out tanks. has been ordered. I'll probably take 30 to 40 or so minutes. So. A quick look at uh, Justice over here. Playing on one of his alternate accounts, I believe. Hmm. I was a little bit greedy on throwing down that CC before bunker. He has got the three marines to volley away the dragoon, so should be able to be able to just get away with that little bit of greed. Dragoon's gonna probably come in and confirm the CC as well. Oh, 20, 20. Ooh. Two marines on red HP. <laughs> One shot from being killed, those two marines. Definitely doesn't want to lose this vulture, it's so precious. Um, even if you get like two probe kills for the vulture, it's not worth it. You, you need so much map control and pressure on the pros having this vulture out here, and eventually the mines, which is so valuable that you definitely don't want to risk uh, losing that for just a few probe kills. It was like four probe kills or more, maybe it starts to become into the territory of being worth it, but with just like two or three, it's not really generally considered worth it by a lot of Terrans, because the map control and pressure of the Vulture is just so much more valuable with the early mine upgrade. And losing it before you get that mine upgrade online is just too painful. And just having the Vulture out on the map is just something for the pros player to always worry about. 
Whereas if there is no Vulture, you can just rally goons all the way to the bunker over and over again. Alright, so let's go back into the other game. Taking our 4 for 12. Still fortifying this position up. The middle only. Cross player has uh, expanded to the 6 and bottom left quadrant. Looks like pretty heavy gateway man style thus far, but probably want to be worried about an attack soon. Needs to be careful not to bleed off too many spotters. All oh, arbiters are out with the 13 minute stasis timing. So we'll have stasis available to him and potentially recalls later on as well. Oh, look at these great wall of turrets in the main base of uh, the Terran here. Silent Storm not pulling any punches with the turret defense on that ridge line. The problem is, is that it's so easy for the Arbiter to still get the recall off as long as he activates it at the right time. You might, you might kill the Arbiter as he activates the recall, but the recall will still go off. So many turrets that you need to actually kill the Arbiter before the recall comes off. The Arbiter has just so much HP. I believe it's 200 HP, 150 shields with a natural armor as well, so it's a lot of damage it can tank from the turrets before it goes down. More efficiently would be to use a science vessel and EMP, but that requires good reactions, good aim, and a bit of luck as well, because sometimes the EMP goes off when they've already activated the recall, so it doesn't matter, because the energy's already been used to cast a spell. And obviously the EMP is a projectile, so definitely not a perfect solution. Lockdown has been used before as well, it's another option the Terrans have, but there's no real sure, reliable way of dealing with it. The, usually the the best way you can at least hope for the best is by just mining up and having some units ready to defend it because relying on the turrets just won't usually work. They'll always find a way of getting around the turrets as well. What rank is Silent Storm? I don't know in terms of MMR, but to me, I think he plays around at A level sort of thing. Yeah, he seems pretty solid. I think he's like 2000. Yeah, I would, I would believe that from watching him play. The only thing that hurt him this game is we, he, he did get a bit of supply stuck early on, but he's adjusted well to it. He's holding his own. It's good scanning. There'll never be enough turrets to stop arbiters, generally speaking. It's really frustrating for turrets. We didn't lose the CC though, it's all good. You seen any of Light's games for Speed Shuttle lately? Uh, but how recently are we talking? I don't know, last night, last week, last month? <laughs> seen a few of his games. Um, why, why, are you talking about the Tank Life thing or something else, or...? Uh, TVP. For Speed Shuttle. Oh, what about it? Have you seen the Cloak Wraith strat? Uh, no. I like that. Maybe I've seen it once, I don't think I've seen many games of it. Damn, it's really cool. I don't know if he does it every time, but every game I've seen from Light, he's doing it. <laughs> As if one more cloak wraith. Basically, instead of getting Goliaths, he gets like two or three cloak wraiths and keeps killing all the shuttles. Oh, I think I've seen him do that a couple of times, yeah. It's 
awesome. I've always recommended Terrence make more wraiths in dealing with shuttles. I don't, at the very least, make that one wraith. Just that one wraith. No cloak. Even just that one can have a lot of value. Uh, but yeah, going cloak wraiths, like just two or three cloak wraiths, sound like a really good idea too. Oh, actually, similar to the, the carapace discussion as well, I've noticed when he does that, he also doesn't get um, armor upgrades on mech. Mm. Maybe his logic is the armor doesn't help against Storm. <laughs> Storm 2 OP, just true damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> more relevantly, it doesn't help against siege tanks. Mm. And mines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your own things blowing up your own shit. Actually, come to think of it, again, I think it's. It, I don't think it helps necessarily a lot of goons. It might might only help you against zealots. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure just if the armor just, factors just in with the goons too much. I mean, other than the carriers, obviously, obviously it's essential for carriers, but... Yeah, carriers would be a big issue if you didn't have any armor upgrades late game and they got a shit ton of interceptors just destroying your glass. Would, would feel nice to have no armor. Yeah, that, that is funny that aside from carriers, it's, it's probably only zealots that it helps against. But maybe against that situation, you, you use wraiths to deal with the carriers instead of relying on glass too much. In that case, though, isn't the... Is the retargeting time from carriers gonna sort of nullify, almost nullify the armor anyway? Like, you know, it, are the interceptors spending more time switching between targets than they are actually on target? Hmm? No, apparently it makes a big difference for how long they take to kill the goliaths. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and if, if, so they're, if they're micring the carriers, they, the interceptors are really quick to switch targets. It's only if the carriers are like staying still that the interceptors run back to the carriers before switching target. If you keep oh, in the oh, carriers yeah. move, the interceptors think... re-switch a lot. Yeah, I was just wondering if, it, if it, how long it actually takes an interceptor to switch targets, even if it's not moving back to, to the carrier, you know? Mm. I guess it's quick enough then. It's also depending on how frame perfect your inputs are, because if you could like anticipate when the Goliaths are gonna pop and you start retargeting the next Goliath before it's even died kind of thing. Like Yeah, that too. It's easy to get wrong though. But yeah, it depends on player skill a bit as well. We need I wish Sarah was here so he could tell us his his story about the the history of double armory on Katrina. <laughs> I just got 135 called gas. I think I deserve honorary S rank after this game. Because <laughs> that's all that matters, right? You could be conceptually S rank. A lot of people are.
Let's have a look at the time of the food. Okay. Fifteen to twenty five. Fifteen to thirty five minutes. I think. Nice, nice. Delaying that expansion. And scout pool is always nice. But I doubt he's trying to expand again already, right? Maybe he's just moving his probe up there to expand soon. I don't think he quite has enough minerals to expand just yet, so. Pretty greedy probe move out time. Even just been for a spot of pylon. <laughs> oh no, this tank is bad. Oh, that should not have happened. Unfortunate. Both players being super greedy.
Uh, no, Richard, I'm uh, watching someone. Oh, I just sat down with my food. Yeah, we got a. Uh, I'm in a practice group Discord right now. We got two people playing. I'm watching Silent Storm. He's a pretty high level Terran player. Yeah, yeah, he's about 2,000 ish MMR. I'm not sure exactly what, but he's definitely pretty decent. I don't know his exact MMR, but I think he's A rank around 2000. Solid mechanics. No, I noticed him sometimes get supply blocked a little bit in the early game, but generally speaking, he's been pretty solid. He likes a very unit heavy style, a little bit more uh, slow upgrade timings. Definitely favors his economy and his army over his uh, tech timings. That's why he's able to get such powerful armies out like this. Take took a really uh, fast third base in this game as well. Richard, if, um, if you're interested, we finished the uh, KCM recording today. Should be uh, finishing up editing and being uploaded soon by Sam. Oh, and the silent storm doesn't let him get this uh, base set up in the bottom left, having three rally points to worry about. And the Protoss is a bit of a nightmare, so. It would be nice if he can take out his base in the bottom left, but he is going to be stretched a little bit thin, so might be in the, having some issues here. Having to attack three different locations. He's going to have to pick one, but then he's going to get counterattacked and flanked, so. I think he might lose this game, but we'll see. Your 
Silent got a bit annoyed. I love that delay there as he was thinking about it. <laughs> he was thinking about it, yeah. Relatable. <laughs> Why the hell did he move out? when he was like 140 supply. I don't know. He barely had enough to defend, let alone attack. But he, the thing is, is that I guess he's worried because um, if the Pros does get all three quadrants set up and gets the L shape, then he's kind of fucked either way, right? But Protoss wasn't doing that, right? Protoss, he just oh, would you mean Protoss. earlier on? He, he scanned Protoss, scanned Protoss' base, so I'm making like 10 extra gates all at once. And then he moved mm. down with 140 supply and oh, lost it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that point was bad. Yeah, I do that shit all the time, though. Maybe he felt confident with his fast bird. He felt like he was in a better position than he was. I don't know. Makes no sense, though. He should just consolidate his position against the opening. I mean, the fast third doesn't matter when it was Nexus first. Hmm? Like, is the fast third really going to be that much of an advantage? Not really, no. First? I mean, unless he did like a really safe Nexus first, which he probably didn't, but it was greedy. I do like the pros are playing very greedy as well, so I don't think he outgreeded him enough, any, if anything. It didn't seem like his fights were very good either. Like, he got no. a lot of tank caught out. I mean, he even lost, he, yeah. was, he, he was even losing like one tank to two Dragoons at the start of the game when it was like two tank versus two goo, and he still lost the tank. Like, those kind of trades shouldn't be happening in the game. His control. His keyboard mechanics look ugly, basically, I thought. I'm gonna not say, I'm gonna not say that much because I'm probably gonna play it for the first time in a couple weeks pretty soon, so. <laughs> Spamming his uh, contact station hotkeys. I don't know. APM. Got to stay above 300, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Got to irritate viewers with the contact station sound over and over. Are you implying that it's not a great sound? <laughs> not when it's every, every three seconds. Imagine if that's his, like, um,. His SMS notification sound, or whenever he gets a text message, just the scanner sound. You're a fucking idea. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. Hmm. What about the dropship unknown sound? It's pretty good. Is it wise for him to push down this ramp? Isn't it better? For, I don't know. I don't know how that goes on this map, but I thought it was better for Terrence to push down the left ramp. I guess it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You're watching a YouTube cultist. Huh? Don't worry about it. You're watching a YouTube cultist. He knows what to do. <laughs> I mean, it's going pretty well, it seems like, so. I was working out nicely, yeah. I think we just win the game. Well, we could win the game on A move almost. Like, it seems pretty one sided.
Sometimes I wonder if the people streaming in here have themselves on mute so we don't hear them raging. <laughs> well, that's four Stargates, holy shit. No, Justice does it for our sake because he has the loudest keyboard in the universe. Mm. And he doesn't use push to talk. Well, I'm sure in uh, most people's situation it's like that, but... Yeah, it, it literally just sounds like he's beating the shit out of a robot. <laughs> in place. What kind of switches on his keyboard does he have? I have no idea, I just assume like the bluest of blues. <laughs> yeah, loud. Picky, clacky. No, I, I don't think it sounds like switch key is clicking. It's more like the plastic thunking on the case. Hmm. One thing that would make AI like too OP in games is that, say like the minimap for example, like the AI could like have instant reaction speed to anything that happens on the minimap. Just so much information for free that an AI can exploit. In fact, I'm sure they could do most of their calculations based on the minimap alone. I wonder why the Protoss had nothing while he was trying to get all those Stargates and Carriers out and shit. He probably should have identified that sooner and put the pedal down.
Launch, that's, that was exactly what I was thinking. L launch, that was exactly what I was thinking. Have a look in general chat. Alright, I'm back. Commencing. Excellent. Order, sir. He was to me trolling Jinjin. These storms are so nasty. You gotta consolidate, man. Terran is really shitty in these like little baby fights. I feel like we needed another base a few minutes ago. This army's tiny, man. Like, this is not gonna work that well. Make units. There you go. Yes. Oh I'm such a God. piece of shit. I hate this fucking game. I hate myself more. Literally, I lost the game when I lost this like huge fight, the first huge fight, because I moved out with like 170 instead of 200. And from there, he just banked so fucking much. Also, I never researched the MP because I'm fucking retarded. Yeah, I'm just fucking lazy, um, and I had no time to- t I had no time or units to take a fifth, which is why I kept trying to end the game. Like, just taking a fifth wouldn't have happened. I don't know, I'm just fucking stupid. You couldn't have taken a fifth while you were just pushing him there? Earlier?
Yeah, he's been watching too much Jin Jin. Yes, sir. I don't know. I was on the timer of that game because he it, just had way bigger eco. Is it Jin Jin's issue that he gets 200, 200, goes and attacks and just dies every time? How do you manage that seriously? I just don't know why I took that first fight. I thought the game was over after that, basically. I should have waited, like, even longer. That and not getting EMP were, like, my biggest things I was yelling at myself about. Everything was pointless after that. Are we about to be blessed with a mana dog stream? Nah, like I said, I haven't played in a couple weeks. I'm sick. So, it's gonna be real ugly. I love getting a 240 pack because I forget which fucking spawn I'm at. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know. When things start going wrong, I just want to leave the game. I think that'll always be the case. Terran's one in the coming in stream today.
Uh, TVZ, I imagine, doing this for them. Don't usually see this wall in other ones, I don't think. It's the best position on polyboard for TVZ as well. This bottom right is really nice. Okay, he really doesn't want you to scout him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? That's a lot of lost mining time to deny the scouting, I mean, okay. It's pretty interesting. Well, hey, to be fair, we don't, don't, no, no, no. We now don't know if it's two or three hedge. Yeah, that's true. You could have okay. No drones mining, lava pulled, what is going on? Some kind of cheesy shit. Yeah, that's weird. Some kind of weird shit going on right now. <laughs> I guess could be... Lurker as well. He hasn't taken his gas in his natural and hasn't made many drones, so kind of weird. Straight Hydra. Yeah, what the fuck is going on right now? Maybe he's like drinking. What time? I'm trying to think. If he made the, if he made the third hatchery in base and made it hidden, how long? When could he have morphed the lair there? When would that hatchery would have finished? Uh, 3:55. It was actually only slightly late lair. I'm wondering if I've seen some Zergs do that weird style where they like hide a hatchery like really deep in their base somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that that's um that could be a lair with a equivalent to like a three or five gas. What the what? fuck? Okay, Zuno, I love to bring this up because it's such a ridiculous game for, for the Zerg can do anything th thing. Zeski played on Lana a Zerg who went full hatch before gas on two base, then took, took both their gases and made double lever. Yeah. And made nothing but hydras the whole game. <laughs> well, I think we're seeing something similar here, just a different half of that execution. Don't forget this is D rank, so they might not have a build. Yeah. They might not even be making the hatcheries of 300 minerals. The horror.
Yeah, he has another hatchery in his main, look. You see the creep? He made that hatchery deep in his main. Basically what you were talking about, just not an efficient version of it. But we haven't seen Hydras. Yeah, well... He power drone, didn't he, after making the hatcheries. Like you might be waiting for the Terrans to move out with the Hydras as well. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair though, when I've played Hydra style against Bio in the past, I've only made like one sunken and just like wait with mute wait with Hydras and like they go in to try and bust the sunk and then you surround and pincer from both sides. That could be the game plan of the Zerg here, waiting for him to push and then pincering with the Hydra. Outside your third, eight six. She's on a mission. She's like, come back to me. Him running away just makes her one in more. Scan like the mineral only area there. Yeah, yeah. scan that. What? So he did exactly what I thought he did. Yeah, before he made his hatchery deep and made a lair at his deep hatchery instead. Yeah, I expect to see a queen's nest or something. Yeah, we, it's pretty we'll weird. Crazy that the Zerg has access to this much gas and this. He might go Hydra Lurker though. I don't know. What, like, what could. What... He's not getting a Queen's Nest. He could still go Hydra Lurker. The Hydra Lurker Queen would be better. Make sure he gets tanks. Oh shit. Oh my god. Siege. You got D Matrix or something? <laughs> it might need everything. <laughs> Just need to make deep potions. Yeah, make two at a time. Army. I'm gonna keep your flanks covered with a couple of scouting units and move out slowly. Probably, yeah, more factories and expansion. Hell, you could even get an armory and get plus one at this point. Matrix on tanks or something. Standing by. Identify target. Identify target. What the fuck? The hydrogen only went out. 
You only made one Evo, right? You only saw one Evo. This is weird. I would have thought you would have gone Hydra Lurk in this position and gone like double Evo and Queen's Nest and get Queens and Hydra Lurk. Do you have a factories online? I'd say take six, but... I'd say take six and then try and take bottom left and then start making factories and bottom left eventually when you get to the late game. You make just a tank. Vessels a little bit forward. Okay. Alright. Make macro, macro, macro. Make tanks. Yeah, now go. Get everything together and go. Really D rank players play like this? You mean the Hydra thing? Yeah, like what he's doing, like, it seems kind of weird for a D rank to play like this. Is it Zesky used to complain about how Mass Hydra being in this week, you know? I think he was C rank back then. He apparently faced a lot. Hmm. Your forces are under attack. Yes, we have a visual attack. We need map. I can't build there, sir. See, Jeff. Yes, sir. I can't build there. See if we can get the high ground from him. Yeah, take the high ground from him. He was moving out east of his hydras. Are we going for a counter? Oh, hey. It was easy, was it, Mr. Trouble Lord? Easy. Keep the Marines back. Evacuate. Evacuate to the bottom left so they don't die to the lurkers. On oh, mind. Is it worth scanning one o'clock? You want a piece of me, boy? Please, like, queue up five tanks each section. Yeah, queue up tanks. Keep pushing and queue up some units. Make sure you're producing constantly. Receiving 
You have like loads of D matrixes and the radiates you should be able to smash this. Kill his men as well. Queue up units, spend your money. Take an expansion of six. Make tanks. Get all your army inside his main base and kill him. Let's kill all this tech and shit. Job, man. It's like extra bad to stream those games where like the guy's doing weird garbage shit. Cause then if you lose, it's like extra embarrassing. <laughs> well, he didn't though. And, and Mana Dog, Zesky didn't lose his game versus that. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm playing on my uh, lowest account for a reason. Trying to get ready for weird stuff for NSL. I just haven't, I haven't played in a while. Hey man. So. I had streamer mode on, so I didn't hear you call me earlier. Oh, it's all good. What's going on? Oh, just chilling. Just finished eating something. Nice. I just had a few things to do. I'm good. All set now. Did you uh finish editing it yet? Yeah, it's uploading right now. Nice. Yeah, it'll be done in a few minutes, I think. That's it. Checked. Oh, I'm like salivating over this laptop right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame you, it's a pretty big deal for you. Good. Which one are you looking at? The MSI one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want any problems. I don't think I'll get this. Auris. Probably some fucking Chinese brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure. You might even have to look it up. I don't even know. Might be. Auris. Taiwanese, oh, it's a gigabyte. Yeah, it stems from gigabyte, yeah. Hmm. I don't mind Taiwan. Taiwan's cool. But I don't like all the people saying that it fucking crashes all the time. Hmm. 
doesn't sound good. The problem with things like that is just like you don't really know what you're dealing with because like especially with certain brands it's very product to product like how things are judged so you never know quite what you're getting even if some yeah. of their products are good i mean i think uh it seems like the aura stuff is the more premium branded shit like the more high-end stuff and the other be more of a budget brand, so to speak. So you want to do some of that map, see if we can get some good rounds going? Sure. Looking at the ARS website. I actually like that they're from Taiwan. Taiwan's, Taiwan's cool. Taiwan's mm. where they make all the chips. Yeah, yeah, that's why there's so much uh, friction in that region right now. Because if China gets control of that, then... They're pretty self-sustainable. Yeah, as it stands right now, they can't make shit. They can't make mm -hmm. jack. <clears throat> can't even make the most basic chip. Too sad. Which one is this one? This one was the... 30, 80. Chisel says, what's the lowest rating you've seen? What you mean on like on StarCraft, like MMR rating? Well, I don't even know like how low people can get. I mean, you'd have to like really tank it on purpose, I think. Uh, like say my lowest friend at the moment is this guy at 956 Someone asked uh, in my chat saying, what's the lowest MMR you've seen? Mm, me? Yeah, well, you asked me, but I'm asking you. Um, I've seen under 1,000, but I don't know how low or under 1,000 I've seen. I don't think I've ever seen under 1,000. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, i got one person on my friends list, which is just slightly under 1,000. <laughs> Damn. Which is interesting because in chess it's like the other way around. In chess it's like everyone goes down to under 1000 when you're just starting out. It's like mm. really hard to maintain your elo in chess. Unless you're an actual chess player. But I guess... Still, uh, ha hmm? still haven't got that money from uh, Love Snow yet. <laughs> Wait, which money? Remember we bet 50... Or no, what was it? Five bucks? What was it on? Remember. Do you remember what it was you on? You don't remember that? We I remember something about it. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, I we, remember. Played, we played a chess match. <laughs> <laughs> he was so he was so excited to, to <laughs> bet five bucks after losing to me twice. Oh, 
we got a we got a uber noob here. Uh oh. Okay, this round is looking pretty cursed right now anyway. <laughs> I've already got five Goliaths. Oh, that's not good. That's doomed. Oh, Just got a superhero marine right as you said that, so maybe I can do something.
human wars. Super Hydra. Get rid of that guy. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Vladimir Putin and Mike Pence just <laughs> 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 this fucking lobby's getting all political up in here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard us talking about Taiwan.
Hydra!
I mean, he is yellow, so I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> or white. <laughs> Hydra, what the fuck? Okay, got two supers. Hydra now. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he know one of my? Why is... <laughs> does this guy know me? What? He called me Scott Bot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. know me somehow that's weird it's like a nickname that I have really who knows your nick that nickname though? how many people online I mean only people I know in person shit that's pretty weird I'm sure it's not coincidence that you said that Mike Pence knows me personally, that's pretty insane. <laughs> Didn't know you were so famous with the uh, politicians there, Sam. <laughs> Canadian can never compete with me. <laughs> How does he know me? So gross. Almost had my third super hydra. Go again. Freaking Mike Pence, dude. <laughs> I imagine he's American. Uh, yeah, I would guess so.
Not enough minerals. Upgrade complete. Ah, stop moving.
minerals. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. God, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yellow's only got two units, bro. What the fuck? Is that real? I don't know. You just have so many upgrades you can just one shot everything, or what? Uh, I guess so. I'll just be doubling down into his grays like crazy, yeah. It's good early game, and if you can rack up a lot of kills, then you can start buying more to keep. But I guess you want to be careful that you don't like go so heavy in grades that you can ne never get enough kills later on to build more and more heroes. I don't know. I He's only got 18 upgrades. I got 25. How is he ahead of me right now? It's insane. This does not make sense to me. Thank you. 
He also got four queen kills. Oh. He's well, been getting helps. the extra queens from the other guy that's not there. Big new. Nice. Damn it. Sure, sure. I had a really shit run in the sense that I was forced to go Goliath Goon. I was still it's keeping nice. up in kills a little bit, but wasn't quite good enough to carry. Goliath's so shitty, man. Has decent air damage, but that's about it. And not good enough air damage to warrant it. We need Ace in here. All right, let's go with this guy. Fuck it. I think we can do it with my fence. Yeah. I think he's right about taking that position as well. I think the bottom right is a pretty good position. Hmm. I think bottom left is the worst, I'm not sure. Because bottom left is like there's a big gap between the units and the platform a little bit. Hmm. Not enough minerals. Sold a glove, got a glove.
So, uh, Jun, mm -hmm. I got, um, permission from Snow, like I still told you, to do the Pro League. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking it would be fun if we could do, like, um, you know, you, me, Ozzy, maybe, maybe, uh, Love Snow, and just, like, do it really super chill, because it's, like, a, a chill event, you know what I mean? Like, they're playing for money, but they just do it on stream. And, you know, there's no, like, professional editing or anything like that. It's just, like, them on stream playing a bunch of games. And I thought it would be fun to just, like, approach it more in a relaxed way. You know what I mean? You can do that, yeah. I'm down for that. Oh, no! Come on! Just got my hydra, please don't die. Holy shit, there's so much stacked up in the top left right now. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Look at this storm. Holy shit. I'm debating if I should like not even morph my goons and just like go sell them all and try and go pure hydra. <laughs> yeah, I did that too. I sold everything. I'm pure marine right now. I, all I have is hydra. It's like a backup unit. I don't know if I'll eventually upgrade them, but for right now I'm just keeping them. Oh! What was that?
No. No. Ah. At least this uh, Mike Pence guy isn't too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think he knows the value of that fourth slot. I was analyzing mm -hmm. it um, in previous games and wondering to myself if that's the best spot because of how it looked. It's probably precision. No, no, he's he's on my friend's list, so he's not. I'm just trying to think of who this guy is. <laughs> there were a few people who, when I was just starting out in mm -hmm. casting, who I like, you know, talked to really familiarly. Got to know them really well. Oh, I see. So but maybe then, um, then they kind of dropped off. You know what I mean? Maybe some of these guys have got some deeper intel on you from back then. Maybe, maybe. Before Goliath, dude. <laughs>
clean. Alright, it's not that bad, but...
Oh, I just got my shit. God damn it. says this is the one. This is the run. my start right now. If we fuck this one up, he can die. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna fuck this one up though. We got, we got a strong team. Maybe if Hui is just really shitting the bed, then we'll, we'll restart. So juicy right now. Luck is Lady Luck is on my side. This 
game, I'm telling you. Nah, I don't gamble. Stepped in Brutal War. And I bet all of the dollars. I go all in on Hydralisk. Let's go. Dude, I'm getting so lucky. This is crazy.
Not a lot of extra queens this game. What's going on? Here we go. Science vessel. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm so lucky right now. What? I'm just getting like exactly the things that I want right now. It's crazy. Managed to squeeze out two super phones. Got double supermarine. <laughs> oh, my God, so close.
Templar. Okay. Oh, ghost. There we go, ghost. That's what I'm talking about. By seven units, not a single one is a fighter. Let's go. the hook, you know. <laughs> Fuck. That was the that was the run. What the <laughs> fuck? I had two super hoders, it was looking okay for me. Let's get Ozzy in here. Ozzy. Oh wait, should I make a hang on. There he is. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I'll invite him again. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna call you back again though. Wait, existing groups. We have one already. I'll call this group. Trade by my pants. Your Canadians out of it. Start over. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's a shitty roll. For oh sure. my god, he got oh. five. But... Look at Mike Pence. Yeah, he got five glass. Holy shit, that guy. Yeesh.
Match detected. Uh, radiate really doesn't do enough damage. Nope. Pretty bad. There we go. That's a big one. Nice.
I got new too. Let's go. This was gonna be Come such on, a big man. one too. That was such uh -oh. a good run, man. I had everything ensnared and bunched out for this nuke. I just needed like five <laughs> seconds. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, that's Pretty so close. sad. That was gonna be like 50 units at least. <laughs> yeah, nukes are really good in this. Yeah, we all need to get nukes quick. A hootie who's good too. Should I boot him for uh like Pence, though? Uh, I don't know who's better at those two. What you? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with Hootie Hoo. I tried to add Mike Pence, but he's in a different Blizzard region. Oh, okay. He doesn't matter, then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had the scoop on saying, man. He knew my address and everything. What color underwear I was wearing? Dude, just fucking knew everything. Yeah, I mean, I felt like that was common knowledge. Oh, for fuck. Hey. Well, it's just remake for Saiyan again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill myself. In a game. Did you mean in game, Sam? Yeah. Okay. I say you get out of uh, some TOS stuff if you ever say something a bit racy or crazy, like. Uh, not racy was the word for it, like, not violent, but I can't remember the fucking word, threatening or something. Like, if you say some crazy shit, like, oh, I wanna fucking blah blah blah, and just like, just caveat that with a, in a video game afterwards. <laughs> then you're good. Just say allegedly after. Allegedly. That's how you get away from um, like defamation yeah. and shit like that. Like yeah, if you say this allegedly happened, they can't sue you. Yes. 
You gotta choose the sand. Get a nuke. Oh yeah, the early nukes are the best. Shit, you know, I've just got four dragoons in a row. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I mean, eight dragoons in a row. Oh, God. Eight. <laughs> eight. Like selling and buying them in a row. <laughs> no. Alright, Super Marina, Super Hydro might be enough.
Oh boy. Get on this stone. Oh! <sighs> what happened? Hmm. What happened? What happened? What happened? The important part is in like, at worst, second or third every game. Okay? Hmm? I'm never the worst. I ain't never the worst, so that's good. a good uh, benchmark in life, I guess. Make sure you're not the worst. As long as you're not the worst. I, I like don't have to make sure it's, people. it's pretty natural. Gonna risk. It didn't pay off. It never does. Say so it never does? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right. Well, we're in for our first last place.
Oh my god. I got the uh, six random units and it gave me five hydras. Holy shit. That's crazy. Guess we're going hydra. Pretty good.
<laughs> Alright, I got two super hydras and two super guns. Nice.
Okay, I'm gonna go make some food. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Alright, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Love Snow's doing homework on stream. Doing homework on stream. check this out quick wait lost those on stream and see him online uh so he started it earlier don't see him online right now at least I guess he changed his mind, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like if, uh, if they put me in, I wouldn't even verse you anyway this next week. Oh, why? Apparently yeah, I'd be against Eason, is what I was told. Him. Oh, okay. Let me have a look at the uh, shit on the NSL chat. We might be in different tiers. Because I'm AB, I think, and you're like BB. Yeah, if I'm like more strict B and you're AB, might be different tier. Well, I think <laughs> um, there is some crossover if they, you don't find a player that, like, say we didn't have another AB player, maybe I could still play you. I don't know how that works. What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up? Scan a couple things set up here really quick. No, it's online. No, he's not. I heard him speak suddenly, but it was just the bot playing in the background. He's not online. <laughs> what's up? I heard him say, what's up, everybody, before he came online. You'll play some freezer something soon? Uh, I have to go milk pretty soon here. Oh, you do? Okay, no worries.
I'm gonna get a drink, Ozzy. Do you want anything? Um, I want you to stop talking to me. <laughs> Can do. <laughs> Well, someone's saying some pretty rude shit in the channel, man. What channel? Like in the uh, StarCraft channel, up non. Oh. As in the actual StarCraft. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Something a bit racy. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I scratched the guy. <laughs> Since I'm streaming, I think I should take like some steps to. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's okay if you um hmm. like actively say something about it. How do you uh, mean? Not a hundred percent. Like uh, not a hundred percent sure on it because. Uh, the rules get a little iffy with like YouTube and Twitch, and it's different between the two platforms. I'm not even hundred percent sure, but whenever like something homophobic or something pops up, if somebody says that, then I'll like squelch them and be like, none of that. I think if you like allow it to keep happening or something, like if you don't silence it on your stream, mm. then you could technically get in trouble for it. I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but I, I feel like that's how it works. I work. think you're mostly right. Yeah, I think that's it's, it's whether or not you're taking an active step to prevent it from happening. Yeah. Because otherwise you could just pretend to not like it, but 
let it continue kind of thing. Right. Makes sense, I guess. Like in that situation, I squelched him, then did like slash FL twice to like hide it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we learning, boys. How good is Eason? Is he pretty solid? Uh. It's okay, from what I could tell. I mean, he kept uh, reminding me how much better he was than me when he tried to explain why Thor Hatch was bad. So, must be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That whole conversation with him is on VOD as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it sometimes from certain people if I ask for it, right? Like, like, Nomad and Quark are giving me a hard time. It's, like, something I ask for. Mm -hmm. But when it's, like, some random guy that comes into my chat that hasn't played StarCraft in 20 years, and when he did, he was, like, 1500 telling me how to play the game, like, triggers me beyond belief. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess that, like, kind of makes me a little bit of an elitist, elitist even, because, like, even if someone's, like... A little lower rank than me. If they're like 200 MMR below me trying to tell me how I should do builds or something, then it starts bothering me. <laughs> I don't know if you I don't know if you noticed, but even uh when Ace was just like your Corsair was late, like it was actually really triggering me. <laughs> it was like my Corsair is late. Like I understand. Like, this is something that a lot of people, I feel like, don't understand. Yes, a perfected build, right, if you do it exactly how it's supposed to be done, has a specific timing, right? Mm. But you still make adjustments based on the situation. It's not simply, you do this build, period, do not adjust it no matter what, right? It's, that's not how it works. I last scouted you, and you had first scouted me, apparently, and I didn't even know that. But it was like, I made took steps because it was like, yes, I could cut corners to get, you know, the, the perfect Corsair timing build. But if you're just linging me, I'm dead because I don't have any, like, information whatsoever. So I have to mm. adjust according to the fact that my scouting was unlucky. Yeah, yeah. It's just, like, little things like that where it's like, yes, I, I, I know I can copy-paste the first, like, three minutes of a build. Right? Anybody can do that. I get that. But there's more to the game than just copying the build. I agree. And I also just am not a big fan of people that talk and talk, and then when you try to respond, they'll just talk louder so you cannot speak. Oh, like who? Now, Ace was doing that to me that over the Corsair thing, and I had to mute for a second. I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm going to go away. <laughs> it is for me in hindsight. That's why I'm talking about it now. Like. <laughs> I, I admit that I can get mad pretty easy, so I can look back at it and be like, it is kind of funny. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but in the moment, I was like, holy crap. The thing with Eason was a slightly bigger deal, because I kept telling him to call it, and he wouldn't call it. Tell him to call it. Oh, cool it. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, what made it worse was that he was wrong. <laughs> like it's one thing being like an arrogant motherfucker and being right but when you're like wrong as well it like makes it 50 times worse yeah exactly exactly if they're right in doing it it's like it'll and I'm not asking for it it'll bother me but not nearly as much because it's like yeah I know you're right just give me a second to yeah accept how wrong I am or something yeah I got frustrated with him when he, um, afterwards though, because after the whole thing, he then, like, started, like, backpedaling and gaslighting what actually was said. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't actually say it was a bad build, I just, uh, you know, if you make that many lings, and then, yeah, <laughs> like, shit like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, Jean, you misunderstood. What's that? You misunderstood what he meant. Go on. 
I'm just saying that's that's how he was. Oh right, yeah. How people like that will like portray it to you. But, like I didn't say that. You you're, you misunderstood what I was saying. I wasn't saying it was bad. The, the hilarious thing is that the <laughs> whole is thing fault. is on stream and recorded. Like he can change reality. <laughs> it's like you could just go back and listen to what was said if you want, my dude. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a uh, an idea my older my oldest brother had because um uh, my parents tend to overreact over a lot of stuff and. He uh, came up with an idea for, he got us uh, these little security cameras kind of thing mm. to like put up so that uh, whenever like people would get upset over something or say something in a way they shouldn't have and then they wouldn't take responsibility for it, he was saying uh, it's something that they could watch back themselves. Not that they would like watch as a family, but like just for that individual to be like, okay, I need to recognize that I am being unreasonable or something. Mm. And uh, the idea he called for it was uh, insecurity cams. <laughs> Security counts. <laughs> uh, needless to say, my parents said no. <laughs> yeah, un understandable. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. People typically don't want to. I could see the merit in something like that, though. I could see it being. There's helpful. definitely merit in it, but it's it's hard. It's hard to take that step as an individual. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> You're telling me to take a step back and look at what I did wrong? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not an option. You actually picked up a fair amount of subs on YouTube kind of quickly. Did I? Yeah, when you started, you were like... Because if you count the ones that unfollowed when you started streaming... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're always going to get that. You, you've gotten over 20, probably. Yeah. Something around yeah. there, okay. You've got more than I got since we started, that's for sure. Hey, what do you mean? Like How about I go I just, I just mean since you started. Since I started. Oh, you mean like in that time frame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what frame. you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, part of it's because I stopped putting videos out because I, I thought I had an editor, but he ghosted me. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I tried contacting him a couple of times and I got nothing. Oof. But I kind of want my vods back. Because <laughs> 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 all I told him I was like, it's okay if you don't want to do it. Like, can I have the videos back? I and I cleared them off my hard drive because I needed space after I sent them to you. Oh, mate, they might be gone forever, you might never see them ever again, Ozzy. Yeah, I mean, it's not all of them, it was like seven, yeah. but it's it's like almost 100 gigs of StarCraft still. Look at you, new gigs of StarCraft. <laughs> gigs of StarCraft sounds like a band name, a StarCraft It really name. does, actually. Gigs of StarCraft. <laughs> That's what we can call Love Snow Show Matches. <laughs> I need to get someone to fund a uh, show match between Artosis and me on BGH. Oh, that'd, that'd be interesting. He did it versus somebody once before. He ended up winning, Artosis did. But I think my 1v1 BGH is better than the guy he played. Hmm, think so you can take him? Yeah, I'm pretty confident, especially from what I saw. The guy that played against him, Artosis, he just kept on... Um, I didn't carry your rushes like every game. I was like, what a, what an insecure way of trying to play this game. That's how I play like a free for all for us. Right. Yeah, that's how you do like 2v2v2v2s. 2 v 2 v 2 v 2s Turtle and carrier and hope nobody notices you. And then you get like crap tons of upgrades, so if the other Protoss tries to like Grand Theft Carrier, it doesn't matter because you'll kill his 0 0 carriers. Exactly. Yeah, but that's why I like Arbiter on BGH. It's, it's such a hard counter to kill you. Mm. You just stasis like the whole fucking army and yeah. then you're just laughing. 
Yeah, you get like three arbiters on that. It's just from a max supply in stasis. It's funny because I didn't used to go Arbiter on BGH, but since I started laddering, I've really seen the value of Arbiters. So anytime people go like Turtle Mode, I start rushing towards Arbiter. trips I guess So swift. Give me the queen. No. Guess that's the so, yeah.
Oh my god, I hate people like this. Man. Come on, who you want? Uh, there's this guy that's like kind of a mutual friend of a couple streamers I know. Mm. Uh, but only because they're girls. And he's like... He's married, but he's always talking about cute girls and like flirting with girls and stuff on a stream like drives me freaking nuts man. <laughs> if, if I go to a stream that's like like 80% girls on a stream and uh, I was just kind of curious he had his um, Instagram on there so I but it's like request follow only and he declined uh, my request and I'm like 99% sure it's because I'm a guy because he knew who I was. I, I spoke with him a few times, even. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I don't know. It's not even a big deal. It just triggers me for whatever reason. It has nothing to do with me whatsoever. <laughs> you sure, Ozzy? Sure has nothing to do with you? I think so. You think so? I, I guess it's just because I've... I guess it's my morals being applied to another person. Hmm. <laughs> As someone that's been like cheated on a couple of times, and like how I get about that kind of stuff when I see a guy that like has someone that's like flirty with other girls, it makes that just I just don't like them by default. Mm. What race should I play in Desert Strike, Razi? Pick for me. Quick. Aaron. Oh, too late. Random. The game was starting. Because the game was starting, I needed you to say something quick. It, I, like, it was like less than two seconds. Yeah, but as you said, Terran, it came locked out. Oh my god. Is that the game you're playing that's like super unbalanced for Zoe? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do the same shit to me and it's gonna be bullshit. <laughs> 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 How fucking great is it that I, we both went random and he gets pearls and I get so like, fuck. Maybe we should have played better. <laughs> I can't believe they allowed the like, Corsair that auto cast disruption would. Yeah. Let me get fucked in the early game. Sobel is a slow. Could have got Ivy Speed, I guess, would have better. <laughs> How can you even get an advantage in the game? Does it work? I don't even know. I would like to see someone who understands how to play Zerg on this map, like, show how to play it, because fucking looks bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from what you should, when I was watching it, I, yeah, uh, I wasn't feeling it. I'm trying to wonder, like, how the fuck am I supposed to play against him? Okay, I'm going to get going, but I'll be back after. Okay. Have a nice life, nerd. Alright.
Doesn't seem very balanced. I hate the play, I hate the game.
require more minerals. We require more minerals. Nuclear missile ready. Musik.
Happened to Ozzy? Uh, I think you went to milk or something. <laughs> fucking guy's always milking. Just 
milking away, man. I downloaded that Pro League video, see how it went. I tried a new thing where I try to download a partial video. Wonder how that turned out. Oh, oh, oh look at that. I think it worked. Did it? Well, maybe not. Yo, check this out. So, um, I took a screen grab of something interesting here. Check this. Look. What is this? It's uh, for Pro League. Um, Snow kept bringing it up, and it's like how they figure out who gets what money for the uh, winning Pro League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's like a spreadsheet to calculate. Prize money for the players. Yeah. Exactly. I tried putting it through a Google Translator, it didn't really tell me much. Hmm. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, somebody caught me somebody caught me eating. <laughs> somebody caught you eating? Yeah, like the. Remember when I was I was eating something and you, we were we were playing. I was eating a biscuit. Remember? Yeah. And and then uh, we were we were casting and I thought I had more time, so I popped like a piece of biscuit in my mouth and then you went back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me. You wrote in the comments. <laughs> you caught you. this and it went um the sound and the video separate fuck hmm? what happened uh, uh downloaded the whole thing anyway what the fuck dude i was trying to uh do something different with my um my software, the you ever heard of a YTDLP? No. It's like a what's it called? A GitHub software that can al that allows you to download like any YouTube video or any video on any platform. It's like a, it's basically like hacks. <clears throat> you just you just open it up in uh, command prompt. And you can literally download anything, any video that streams. <clears throat> it's pretty mm. OP. Yeah, it's like a soft uh, a thing that people pay for is uh, YouTube Premium or whatever, and you can you can literally just download any video. It's it's super strong, but it it only uses command prompt, so you have to know like how to type in the the different commands. And one of the new commands that I was learning is how to to download a partial video 
so you download like uh, starting from you know one hour uh going to uh you know three hours 20 minutes or whatever and you just download like that two hour piece in the middle Do you know what you know what i'm saying hmm so i tried it but i fucked it up i guess and it downloaded the entire video and it split them into <laughs> video and audio <laughs> So that didn't work, but it's okay. I'll just download the whole video. Fuck it. Whatever. It's fine. Have you watched any of my classic casts, Shun? Oh, you mean when you do like old games? Yeah, I've been doing them. I think I watched one. Yeah, I know it's one of the videos. I've got a friend who is like really, really into doing it. <laughs> he always pushes me to, to cast more classic games. And so I bring him on. His name's Ideas. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, is that the guy that I probably heard casting one of the games of you? Yeah, his casting is not great, but... Huh? What? But he's passionate about the old games. He's very passionate, and he knows a lot about the games. Like, he's got a lot of historical knowledge about, you know, OSL winners and mm. the MSL games that have been played. Yeah, from I remember from the video I watched, one of the ones I watched with you and him, he did seem very knowledgeable about that era. Yeah, he has a hard time though taking his turn though in the cast, unfortunately. It's like a lot of talking over each other and like me trying to like navigate the situation, you know, without, uh, <laughs> with you know, make it interesting for the players or for the for the watchers, for the viewers. Um, but yeah, it's a it's an interesting series I'm trying to do. He wants me to do one here. As soon as I get this downloaded, I'll try it out. Mm. Uh, they don't get very good views, but it is what it is. Like 600 to 1,000, it's not too bad. 
and uh, it's interesting to see these old games as well, you know? Yeah. Definitely a completely different era, man. some dinner and then I'll come back and do this. Cast. Okay. There's a lot of casting today. Holy. But, oh, I had like three people on the video today, KCM, comment that I that they've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a good sign. Come on, hurry up. More. <laughs> You slacking, bro. You slacking, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a good problem to have. Oh, uh, definitely. Put on some more shit. Uh, if you have any ideas for a new series you want to do as well, let me know. But I'm gonna do this pro league for sure. I'm gonna keep doing these um, retro casts and KCM. That's quite a bit on the plate already, but. I think, mm. I, could, I think I could throw out some more. I, I've been doing still the um the uh, what's it called? Just like regular replay cast, like I've been hitting you up for. But it's hard to hard to find sometimes. Good good games. And uh, actually, as expected, that flash game did really really good. 1200 views. No, oh, but but did you? Yeah. It's pretty good for. Uh, Have you done? Did you do uh, Flash versus Beast or Monty Hall yet? No, is that? Um... That's one of Flash's like big early wins in his career, where he did a really oh, innovative yeah, cheese build. Yeah. yeah, we did we did do that, but uh, Artosis did it as well. Uh, and and I, I think there was something wrong with the replay or with the with the cast. I can't remember what it was. Some some sort of glitch that fucked it up. And then we, I, I saw that Artosis did it as well. So I just ditched yeah. the cast. I was just thinking of games from my memory of like in the past that would be good for you to do. Yeah, Artosis did that one very recently. It's mm. definitely a good one. That was a good game. Yeah, that was crazy. He got a lot of flack for that shit, man. <laughs> a lot Flash. of people hated. Yeah, a lot of people were mad at Flash for beating Bisu and knocking him out. Uh, yeah, this like is back that. when Flash wasn't really rated, though. He was just an up-and-coming kid that knew some cheese builds, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And they were like, fuck this guy, fuck this young kid. But behind the scenes, he was deadly. Like, they'd take him into a pro-gamer house and he'd, like, beat everyone in the pro-gamer house except maybe the team captain, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> Scary. Scary young dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I'd like to do more Flash games because uh, they do really well, and it's cool to take a look at the old ones. I, I did a ton of research on Flash for that video, and uh, it's cool to see those old games from him. Yeah, maybe I'll do. Yeah, I'll, I'll look for some older games from Flash. That'd be good. What we're gonna do tonight is fantasy versus Jengbi. Oh, it's on Medusa. Oh, nice. That's cool because KCM has Medusa in it now. That's good. Yeah, I guess they got rid of Medusa from KCM because they thought, or no, sorry, they put in Medusa and they got rid of Blue Storm because Blue Storm is too Imba. Yeah. That's what I heard from. <laughs> I don't remember who I heard it from, but Blue Storm is really, said... really bullshit, man. Yeah, somebody said that uh, KCM got rid of Blue Storm. It's... Don't blame them. Yeah. Soundstorm would be a really, really good replacement for that, but uh, I'm not sure, sure if they will use it. For sure. Maybe I should uh, send KCM a message about that. Yeah. Let them know. Let them know that there's a new map. Uh... Maybe show him, if you wanted to, you could show him the cast that we did on of Saber versus Scan on there. You can get, mm. get a vibe for it. Yeah. I'll try. You know what? I'll do it. Fuck it. I'll send KCM a message. Sounds good. It's really hard to communicate, but I communicate with them through uh, 
Africa TV. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not easy. No, I bet it's not. It's all right. It is what it is. Glad that he's willing to take my messages. So. Yeah, just the fact that you've got some kind of correspondence with him is cool. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. All right, man. I am going to go grab some food. Talk to you later. Nice. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Which means oh. shit, I don't know what makes the fucking courses and the arbiters. Oh, it makes courses as well. Thank you. 
Seems balanced. 